All right, <laughs> welcome everyone to another Final Fantasy 14 Endwalker stream. We're here on the post game on patch 6.2. Wait, speaking of which, we should watch the 6.2 trailer here so that we can know what exciting things to look forward to. So let me go ahead and type that in. The British one. Let's go. Peggy 16. Peggy 16. There was once light here, and it shone its warmth upon creation. Ooh, spooky music. The lands were green and the seas were blue. Ooh. Life flourished. And then it all turned into dark. This is where I belong. My home. This endless darkness you call the void. Well, some people uh, were able to survive. Excuse me. We can't use a battle theme from another Final Fantasy game. <laughs> That's not allowed. It's another death they want. I say we give it to them. The giant rodent with the fluffy tail. Didn't they? Oh, this is what did this? They rework the bridge. Was that the rework of the bridge? I missed the old version of it. Elder Brand, dancing bunny people. Archibald. I will find you, sister. You're not the only ones who can ride the wind. Hey, Sid? What is going on? I'm so confused. What's happening? An Asian? I thought we fixed the Asian problem. Is it still going to be a problem now? Uh, no, it's like Fan Daniel all over again. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into the video game here. <laughs> it's like Ben Daniel all over again. I was leveling my white mage right before the servers went down last night. I was able to do a leveling roulette. And I think I even did a PVP roulette just to, cause that's the only thing my freaking character can do at level 41. I'm thirsty as always. I only have three more gummies left. Honestly, this wasn't too bad. I don't even know how long this lasted, but it was not bad. So who really has high standings on gum, you know? There are other people out there like, ugh, this gum gets a score zero. All right, let me reset my minion today. <gasps> We're bringing the Warrior of Light with us! Woohoo! Alright. Let me switch to my main lady. None of our plugins are gonna work because they just updated the game. And let's go to Rod Han.
Got to change the background for this one. Where is it? No, it's somewhere in the middle somewhere. Here it is. There we go. Okay. Let us talk to our dear Vitra. Barshan has glad tidings to share. An excellent timing, Kokoro. Just a moment ago, I received word from the Ironworks. They have completed their task and are on their way with reinforced warding scales. Similarly, our alchemists have also succeeded in creating our artificial atomos. All is in readiness for our journey to the void. I have instructed our comrades to gather at the great work. Let us head there at once. To the great work. Are we in here? No, we're not in here. Are we over here? There's a bunch of people standing over there, so I assume we're going over here. Our comrades are here, but the Ironworks people have yet to arrive. To thus create a void scent, Danish alchemists are clever as they are bold. Oh, look at it! Look at the tiny little ma! Cute little Atomos. How cute. There you are, Kogoro. I present you the fruits of the alchemist's labor, the artificial Atomos. Though we've yet to put it to the proof, its either is practically identical to that of the original. Truly remarkable feat in so short a time. Aye, our alchemists have outdone themselves yet again. Small wonder that they are the pride of our Zatan. I would express my gratitude to Nithana, but it appears she isn't here. She rushed off after bringing the Artemis to attend to a pressing task, but said that she would return ere we set forth. Which would short be shortly after our friends from the Ironworks arrive with the warding scales. Did someone say warding scales? Because it so happens we have them. Hello. Right on Q. Tis good to see you all again. But for the president himself to attend, keen to bear witness to our little experiment, are you? You know I am. I was there at the Crystal Tower, lest you forget. I wouldn't miss this for the world. You don't mind if we come along and see you off, I hope. It's thanks to these three that we finished the work so quickly. It was my painstakingly collected data that made this reinforcement possible. The scales will last a good ten years in the void with an area hint of degradation. As the ones who did the actual reinforce me, we guarantee the quality as well. It'll keep you safe. But enough bragging. Here are the scales. Hello? Okay. With these, we can search for my sister without fear of corruption. I know not how to repair you. Don't mention it. Midgar Somer came to our rescue in the rift. It's the least we can do to help his children. Thank you. 
Well, my friend, my only regret is that I won't be able to accompany you on the latest grand adventure. We need to... It or not, it's all the matter. Before you depart, Your Excellency, there is something we wish to present to you. Would you please come with me? Oh, they made a gift for the soft drop. You would not delay us without a good cause. Very well. Forgive me, my friends, but I required a moment. He's certainly taken his time. What sort of grand present could take so long to receive? The kind that will help him the void, I presume. In this godforsaken place, he'll need all the help he can get. But you of all people ought to know that, eh? Apologies for keeping you waiting. Welcome back. What's the deal go? I presume. Oh, you gave him a, an adult body. How sweet! You won't be a Indeed. little child. This vessel now serves as a host for my eye. Look at you, growing up so fast. They grow up so fast. I was aware that the alchemists were busy preparing something. But this... We couldn't well send you on such a perilous mission unprepared. <laughs> in a child's body, yeah, fair enough. We spared no effort in crafting the body. And I dare say you'll find it adept at wielding weapons and magics both. Hell yeah! New p p member joins the party. I intend to present it to you sooner. But we could not bring ourselves to do so, knowing we could yet improve it further. Pray forgive us. I forgive you. That is not to forgive. <laughs> I am grateful for this fine vessel, and shall put it to good use. So cute. Is it going to be our tank now? I ask that you watch over Radzatan in my absence. The dangers we go to face are great and many, and I fear I will be unable to give matters here due attention. And in opening the Void Gate, there is ever risk that Void Scent will find their way into our world. Rest assured, we are more than prepared. Our soldiers have been training under Master Estinian. On my honor, we will not suffer a single fiend to pass. So, think only of your mission, Vasha. Ah, but seeing as this is a different body, perhaps we should use a different name. Nay, Vashan shall suffice. Though I may have thus grown up, I am as ever a little brother to you all. Ah. As you say. <laughs> Go then, Bashan. Got him. And best of luck. I have something for you as well. Oh, really? While you were gone, Yes. I'm just a visit. 
As you may recall, he joined us on our foray into Arzadar's legacy, in part to conduct research for the Loperids. Yes? Research they were delighted to receive, and which has already inspired them to consider new ways to improve their own treasure vault. As a token of their gratitude, Livingway entrusted a familiar relic to Urianger. Uh, what is it? Oh? The crystal? Aye, the crystal, which showed the way to Meteon. Banas crystal. The operates no longer have need of it, and thus saw fit to return it to us. Harboring the power of light, it could well aid us in our mission in the void. That's true. I didn't think about that. And who better to bear Heidelin's gift than her chosen champion? Freaking answer playing in the background. All right, well, we're ready to head out. If there is nothing left to discuss, then let us depart. Our boat awaits us in Akiali. All right. Anybody else? Nope, nobody to talk to? All right, let's go then. The Satrap and your fellows have already departed for the vault. Are you ready to set forth? Yes, take me to the Weaver's Warding. Created the vault's guardians to contend with the void scent, a task which was made easier by the surplus of broken units. When I could argue that I did them a favor, well, if you say so. An undersea vault guarded by alchemical sentries, such a place would be an ideal proving ground for new creations. I didn't want to talk to you. Sorry. Like us, the alchemists have tremendous passion for their work. If we were to collaborate, I reckon we could achieve some great things. Good gods, but the treasure here. If I were a thief, I would notice a void gate if it came and bit me in the rear. It's not only Tyrion you on, but the alchemists of old too. Who could possibly fail? I must say, I'm beginning to feel nervous. Who is this guy? An alchemist, I guess? The head alchemist? Got my research into cross rift travel, this is a moment of truth. For all those who helped us come this far, let us pray we succeed. I shall now lift the seal. In the name of Al-Sadar the Third. Open up! I cast open this door unto the void! Absorb the void gate. 
Become one! With the void gate. Mmm, tasty. Tastes purple. I assume. Mmm, look at that maw. Let me in, baby. It worked. We should have no trouble passing through a gate of that size. What can we expect to find after stepping through? On my previous foray, I emerged in a castle swarming with void scent. I was hopelessly outnumbered and forced to turn back, but together, I, it's not I new. Am confident we this, can I hold wear my hair own. like this all the time. What do you mean? Upon our arrival, let us deal with. I put my hair in a ponytail. It's not exactly a new hairstyle. <laughs> The command of our mission, I leave in your capable hands. Let's go. Into the dark place. In the event of battle, I shall adapt my tactics to complement your own. Should we require healing, I can provide it. It would be a welcome change of pace from my recent havoc wreaking. Take heart, my friends, and have faith. We will brave this broken world. Yes, let's go and find your sister. My sister Ajdaya. Dum, bum, bum, bum. All right, let's. Oh, we're going to a dungeon right off the bat. Let's hope we can get people for the dungeon. Oh, I know we have. Yes, we don't need people. Yeah, we don't need people. I expect a comprehensive report upon your return. To the least, I am owed for my invaluable contribution. Once we've seen you off, we'll take our leave. We don't want to get in the soldier's way should it come to battle. It'll be dangerous in the void, but you'll been there before and return safely. We have faith you'll do so again. The greater void sent to expand a void gate. It's inspired ideas like this that'll make the impossible possible. I'm glad we can see you off properly. Unlike when we were abruptly whisked away to the first. Anyway, please be safe. While the void gate is open, we must remain vigilant. One void sent past us is one void sent too many. First time in a reflection or no, I can't say I'm feeling nervous. Not after having journeyed to the edge of the existence. Due to our friend's words, the warding scales are eminently re reinforced. We need the corruption even should we be wounded by void sent. What about me? I can't get- what about me? I don't think I can get corrupted. I didn't get corrupted last time. No looking back. I shall keep my eyes ever forward and trust Razatan to my people. I'm gonna play a healer for this, actually. That way. Everyone is here. Insufficient level? What do you mean? I'm level 90. It's a gear score. It's gear score. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> right. Um, do I have enough nuts? Do I have to go get some nuts? I think I have to go get some nuts. 
Let me nut it up here. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Um, we go to Shadowbringers. They can give me nuts. Isn't it right outside the door here? I don't know where I, where I'm going. Over here. I need to buy some jewelry for my healer. Oh, they say they're not. That shard goes right there. Whoops. Awkward. I must collect my nuts. What do you mean I've already accepted this one? That was weird. Alright. Let me find my nuts. <laughs> um, I do want to play healer here, so I will go look for where I need to go. Let's see. These ones. Plan Nutsy. We're doing... Shadowbringers, Lucia, Amma Ring, Lakeland, Ilmig. Hmm, Lucia. Can't find this one. Who oh. not? The Meg Rainbow Lower Keat. Atro wraps. Wrecked Ronk and Thorn. Masterless. Talos. Rabbit's Tail. That's so cute. The gelatin. That doesn't look anything like gelatin. Big doll. Another rabbit's tail and Gilman. Amarang. Then our elite one is. Alright. Calculate route. Tell me where to go. Lickland. The Crystarium. We're looking for the purple trees. Purple trees, purple trees. There's one. Get him. Can 
Thank you. More trees, please. Bumbling, bumbling tree. That's pretty. Oh, that's a mound. Hey, a tree. Oh no, that's a boss. There's a tree. Alright, then we go to Lucia. Amra to find our big scary boy. Our big scary boy? Our Gotcha Naya. Sasha, 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 Sasha. Rocky boy. I'm looking for a rocky boy. Rocky boy land. There he is. One rocky boy coming up. And then we also need to find the elite guy. Looks like a. I, don't, I already forgot what it looks like. Is it not a worm? A mark is to the southeast. Okay. That was quick. A mark. Oh, yeah, this thing. That's what we're looking for. As usual, I'm totally bad at keeping my dots up. Ah. Nice. Okay. Some more nuts. Three little birds. Chirp. Where are the birds at? the birds at? There's another one. Alrighty. And then to still tied for the whip tail. Whip tails. Oh, 
Wow, crit. That was good. And then let's go to Journey's head. Our lizard, our gimmin, and our masterless Talos. Lizard. Fight one of those. My bad. Where's our lizards? Our lizards should be near here somewhere. Oh, here they are. Ancient lizard. And it's just more winds lizards. Like, don't tell me these aren't gar guars from freaking Morrowind, dude. Which was first? I don't know, but I swear more wind was first. Gonna go for the Talos. Anti eruption measures. Wackeldorf. Wolk. Wolkdorf. What are we looking for here? Damn bird? No. The rabbit tails. Oh, look at them. Oh, we only need to fight one, actually. My bad. Just one. Right. Uh, Rainbow. Lower cat. I'm still catching. I'm still saying all right over and over again. And I'm trying to stop. I'm trying to stop saying all right. Hmm. I should just say nothing. I want to say all right. I just say nothing. Does nothing come out of my mouth? Let's make no noise. Or go, hmm. I don't know. <sighs> A 
looking for a moth. Hello, mothy. There it is. Yay! Finally, we're going... Oh, no, we're not finally yet. There's a what somewhere? Where? There's a what somewhere? Where? I do not know what this means. <laughs> I can't read. I don't understand this. Words. I don't understand the words. That I was spoken just there. That was weird. Okay. Anyways. We're going to the... Where are we going? For now. For now, we're going to for now. I think probably there's some down here. I have discovered a new location. I didn't even know. There's two Rakta things we need to punch. Yeah, here it goes. One. the cube. We need to fight the cube. And then we need to get to it. Look bow and fight an Arthro Super Direct. We should have enough nuts to upgrade my gear level now, I hope. Otherwise, we'll do the hunt for our current Endwalker stuff. I have to go to this bridge over here. Hello, any angry reptiles around here? I see one. I see two! Perfect, we need two. I wish we had more AoE. Why do I only have one AoE spell on Scholar? I'm not a bit messed up. Freaking. White Mage has a million. Freaking Sage has a million AoE. I don't even know what to do with Sage's amount of AoE that it has. Ridiculous. Alright, for the Tempest. I think Ondo Cups. Undo cups. I'm looking for an angry 
snail. I couldn't think of what to call it. A mollusk. An angry snail. There it is. A mollusk. And see if they'll let me buy some stuff from my healer, yeah? All of my gear is totally awful. Only one piece is good, and it's this bracelet. My rings, my neck, my freaking earring. don't have enough. You're supposed to have 75. How am I supposed to get 75? Is it really the ring? Is it my gear? Am I supposed to be upgrading my gear somehow? Oh man, this sucks ass. <laughs> am I supposed to be running roulette so I can buy new gear so I can do this? Main story quest. Why do I need to be in the best gear ever for it? Why is my life so hard? It doesn't let me buy two rings. I have to buy a ring from somewhere else. Do I even have enough to tombstones, whatever, to buy a ring? I don't know. It's about time to find out. Three hundred and seventy-five. Oh, that is vastly large amount of three seventy five dude no way right I'm quite sad right now that I can't do this story because of this one thing <laughs> It's gonna tell me I'm not allowed, right? I'm going anyways, just for it to tell me I'm not allowed. I hate using my roulette for no EXP, dude. I hate it. Is there something I can run to get? Oh, this does not give me enough. I have to run. Oh, I could run this. Please give me stuff. Wait, why does the Shadowbringers Alliance raid give me stuff? That's so interesting. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna work. It's gonna ask me... to do roulettes at... what? 8 a.m. on a freaking Tuesday just so I can do this... stupid dungeon, dude. 
Why do I have to do raids in order to unlock the dungeon? Fuck you, efficient. Inefficient item level. Where, am I, where the hell am I supposed to get enough item level? I don't know where else to get a ring. Oh god. It won't let me buy two rings. And I can't equip another class's ring. Do I have to upgrade my gear? And this is so hard. What's happening to me? Why is this happening to me? There's no way I can get groups right now. Are you insane? I'm gonna have to run roulettes just so I can get enough. Fine. Fuck you. I'm not gonna get any groups this early in the day. I hate this. I hate this so much. I can't think of where else I'm supposed to be getting gear upgrades except for buying them off of the vendor. I just need... I just need a ring. I just need 100. I think. Even on a healer, I'm not getting an insta-pop. It's not good. It's not good. Guess we'll just wait for... I guess I'll go do some more... Hunts? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not allowed to do anything, it seems, so... That'd be sad. Um... Where is the hunt board again? In the main hate, main hain. I'm only here for the elite because I haven't, that's only one I've done. Okay. I got the troll. I got that. What am I missing here? Thavner. Perfumed rise. Soto de Murg. Almasty. Ingarlamold. Alright, next one. Automated cavalry in Golemold. The downfall hunter in the moon. A weeper. A whatever these things are. Oh, there we go. What are we gonna do for our main scenario so I can get enough tokens to buy a ring? Only God knows. Right, we get it. You're not there. Uh, another cavalry. Alt, another downfall hunter. We already did this. Did we do this one? Oh, never mind. All right, I'm ready to heal. What are we doing? Thank God, it's this one. It's always this one, but thank God.
Exciting scholar gameplay. Pressing two. Oh yeah. So exciting. Now I'm pressing five. So exciting. Imagine getting excited that we're going to do a dungeon at the beginning of this and then realizing you can't do it because you don't have gear score. Ridiculous. Honestly. I just can't relate.
Well, that did no damage. Almost at the end. Stand here. Just, just take it all in the face, you know. Eh, just don't even move. I don't even know if any you can actually die from mechanics in these. Maybe you can. I have no idea. I've never tried. Oh, I just want to continue the story, but the story won't let me continue because of gear score. Uh, I'm doing his favorite thing in any game ever. I can't continue because my gear is not good enough and now I have to farm in order to get better gear. I wish I had something to eat. Some popcorn maybe to watch this. Fascinating cutscene that I've seen a million times. <laughs> Livia loves Gaius. Oh, you know what I could do while we're watching this cutscene? Upload my YouTube videos. That's what we I could do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> That right is mine. Fine, I say. In this music track, though. I was not able to upload a YouTube video, but at least I set the title and description. Can I just take this in the face? I don't think so. I think she pushes you back. Oh no, I can just take it in the face. Never mind. I should just stand. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand through all the mechanics. It's fine.
Yeah, it literally does zero damage. I don't care. So inconsequential the amount of damage it does. Does anything do any damage in this? I'll be surprised. We did it! Hooray! I didn't- did I get the things? I, did I get the things? Yeah, these things. That's what I needed. Oh. Comedy. This is a comedy in indeed. I would agree. This is definitely a comedy. Um, right. Where was I? This is a comedy. So I guess what I should do... Is... <laughs> this is a comedy. Demit's motor board. Okay. So I need to get to 75. So I need to replace my normal gear somewhere. Because even my ring is better than my normal gear that I'm wearing. What are these ones? I can't even buy any piece of gear. 620. These are the comedy ones, which even more of a comedy, indeed. I need even more of those. <laughs> I, hate this. I hate my life. I hate it. I can't even get any of these ones. Ugh. How much is a weapon? Oh, I need some special bullshit as well. Where do I get that? <laughs> ah, this game sucks ass right now. Like, I'm so pissed that I'm five away from being able to do this dungeon and I can't do it. <laughs> why? Just why do I exist in this world? <laughs> This is so dumb. I don't like this at all. I despise this. I won't- I'll be able to buy one piece after doing all of this. Just so I can do a dungeon for the main story. <sighs> this is why I never play this game when it comes out and I wait until three years later. This is so hard. It's so hard to gear my character. What am I supposed- what- is there more gear somewhere that I am unaware of, you know? Am I m missing something here? Just wondering. Hey, it's this one. This is truly what makes doing the roulette a pain in the ass. I can't continue my story because I'm not up to snuff. 
No wonder people are so impatient in the roulette. I, I can totally understand now. Oh, look at the cute little snowmen! Oh, I forgot to do my actual rotation. Whoops, I'm pressing two. We're doing something, we're farming, that's what we're doing. We're farming for gear right now. Are we gonna get full of, no, okay, we might get full of tombstones. I just need, I guess I just need one, I don't know what I need. I don't know how to gear myself, and to be honest, other than running a, the a new alliance raid, I guess. If I can even get anybody to run that. No, I just, I can't, I, it won't let me do a dungeon because I don't have enough gear score. Like, genuinely, I'm not allowed to continue the story because I don't have enough gear score. And it really pisses me off, honestly. I wanted to do the patch today and then do raids after this. But now it looks like it's going to be the opposite around, a way around. I'm going to do the raids first and then the patch because I don't have enough gear score. Like, hello. Fucking quack quack indeed.
Let's get it to it. But the raids are gonna take me five hours to complete, usually. Is what it takes. <laughs> and I can't do anything else. Gen like, I can't do anything else. Constantly, I feel punished for wanting to play the game when I play this game. Why didn't I rest? Huh? Why didn't I not rest? Very weird. Is dead. Get him. Hey, zero deaths. Look at us. Look at us. Knock, he's there. It's an angry guy.
Where is he going? He's running away. Into the hole. I've graduated from the class of I don't give a fuck about farming tombstones. I think I, I seriously think I just need one piece to get the 75, right? Yeah, like a. I have no idea. Whee! I guess I'm going this way. A, B, C. Easy as A, B, C. Time to go swimming. Sky pirate scrawlings. There's a sky pirate in here? If that makes sense. Balthazar or whatever? Balazar? Balthazar. Balsar, Balesar. Let me jump into the hole. It won't let me jump into the giant hole. Ah, no hole jumping. That's a shame. At least I get to go down a waterfall. Whee! Tumbly tumble! I never expected this to be under Ravanostra. Can she land and die? Oh, so close, but not this time. Three! I don't know what that three means, but three. I'm going to place my little fairy here. I'm just doing DPS. Okay, I'll do this. Oh no! It's the guys with the chariots. A, B, C. And these guys do A, B, C. They can't. They suck. Oh, it's on there.
Do the thing, asshole. Watch out for the cursed things. him over there. He's too far away from me. So far away. So far away. <laughs> hmm. I didn't haven't died and I haven't run out of mana, so I guess there's not much to complain about. Stop. Press the freaking circle, dude. Okay. How can you have like oh god I'm dead? Totally awful. What a an embarrassment. Seriously. Goodness gracious. That was a cursed cursed run. Cursed run. I think I already have that card, but I rolled for it anyways, because I'm a jerk.
god, stands. Don't gotta move. All easy for me. I get hit by that. Shouldn't I get hit by that? No, that guy's just like an I'm just gonna take zero damage. It's fine. All right, that was fun. For something. That was something. We did things. Yes. Yes, I already have that one. Alright. I guess I'll go look for... Wait. Let's see if we can find we can buy something. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Gear score level 90. I need to figure out where I can get gear so I can uh, do stuff. Current dungeon gear lunar subterrain is 635. Current uncapped homestone gear. Lunar Envoy's weapon, Lunar Envoy's... It is recommended to invest in Manderville weapons with casualty in instead. Casualty. Causal causality, sorry. Current crafted gear. Maybe I should just buy crafted gear. 
These can be directly exchanged for augmented dial dokus, weapons, augmented dactyls, and omnibus. Current uncapped normal raid gear is 640. Currently capped raid gear 650. Extreme trial weapons are 655. Currently weekly capped tombstone gear. These can be upgraded. All three myths of the Realm Alliance raid. Current uncapped savage raid gear. Best in slot gear. Crafting. Maybe I should just buy gear. So I can do this. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Um. How do I get. My question is. How do I get. These things, ultra light tombstone. Where do you get those for? From? Ultra light tombstones are from a savage. Okay, so we, we're not allowed to get these because they're savage gear. This is savage gear. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Is this also? I'm guessing this is also savage gear. Yeah, wait, what? All of these are from savages, I guess. Then... What's in here? This is just junk. Maybe we should just buy crafted gear. Is there a merchant here? I don't think so. Even though this is the bazaar, they're not selling anything. I have to go to Charlian <laughs> to buy stuff. Maybe I can just buy crafted gear, and then I don't have to be farming these tombstones for three hours, which I've already been doing. <sighs> I thought just upgrading my gear with nuts was going to be enough. My mistake. I'm looking for armor. Fields? Books? Are there are there any cool books? Diadocus Codex. That is six forty. It's very expensive. Six ten. This one six ten. That's cheaper. Can we sort this by gear level? No. I think it's already sorted by gear level, actually. It looks like. Okay. So, spend way too much money on that. It's probably cheaper just to buy this. Um, yeah, I think all this is going to be really expensive. Oh, that's not too bad, but still way too expensive. Yeah, this is way cheaper. If I just buy... All the Renasita here, and then I just uh, won't have to run out of all my money. Yeah, and then we'll be able to actually do stuff. Yeah, I love doing stuff. I love doing stuff. But why the that's so expensive though? Why are the pants so expensive, though? Maybe we'll buy some pants.
My earrings and stuff should be fine, right? No, they're 590 as well. I just farmed all those nuts. I need a ring that is better. Why are they so expensive? If I can get something, I guess we'll just go for this one because at least it's over. You know what? No, it's fine. We'll buy that guy's ring. Okay. <laughs> this gets a few. Thank you. All right, we did it. We got over the freaking limit here. There, there we go. We did it. We got the gear level, gear score. I hate this game. I actually despise this game right now. Um, is buying freaking gear off the vendor so I can do the game. Can I can play the game? All right, I'm gonna go look for food, and then we will finally do this dungeon. We've done nothing. Another disappointing Tuesday for me. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm having lasagna. Some salmon lasagna. I have my spoon, but I don't have the lasagna. All right. <laughs> I went through all that trouble to farm those two things, and then I ended up just market boarding my gear. It's fine. We now we've learned to just never expect anything good happening. Set an alarm for 25 minutes.
An alarm from 25 minutes. It heard me say, never expect anything good to happen. And I was like, I wasn't sure if you were talking to me. And I'm like, no, please don't call suicide watch because I'm <laughs> being pessimistic. All right, let's go do this freaking dungeon and finish this patch. And then maybe hopefully attempt to attempt to do some raids. I think we'll do the raid and the alliance raid. So we'll do the first step of both. And yeah. I'm just playing healer because it just makes more sense since we don't have a healer with us that I play a healer. We have too many DPS and I don't... And I'm okay with Varshan being the tank. Because like... Hey, look at this. What is he supposed to do? He can be either DPS. We can just... Oh, she can be a healer too, Victory I guess. I forgot about that. That's true. No, we've already made our decision. Let us register for this duty that we're about to get the gear from. I'm sure we're going to get all the gear that we just bought from this dungeon. Yay! <laughs> Sorry, caps. Okay, we've only been playing for two hours. I'm being dramatic. I missed the trash. I feel very... <laughs> oh god! It's dark! It's purple! Run away! Hello? I look just like the people we're about to meet, I expect. The fell court of Troya. Knock knock, it's me, motherfucker. And I'm here to bring the light. Dawn trail or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm here to dawn trail. Ooh, spooky... whatever that is. What? Literally a twisted place in the void. Hey, focus. Void sense could be anywhere. Alright, oh, I have to heal people. <laughs> I'm right, I'm the healer. Whoops. Leg him. Okay, hey, these guys are quite tanky, huh? I would never ask you to hold back, Pistola. Out of my way. It is twisted, yeah. Ooh, that's an uh, optical illusion. Fun. Knock knock. Pretty tree beans. I'm okay. I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't have enough gear score to give me the story. But other than that, we're trolling on. Getting through this Final oh, Fantasy very soon. Hopefully done with playing it for a while, because I am ready to take a break after playing it for a state straight three months, I think. I've been playing it for a straight three months. 
Uh. Locked in the dungeon, I shouldn't doubt. Those ones appear to be sentries. It's already been 25 minutes? No way. Oh no, that's for dinner. Never mind. I was like, there's no way it's been 25 minutes. I'm always busy, busy with my streaming, so I totally understand. The sad part is everyone I'm friends with that stream are either streaming at the same time as me or when I'm asleep. So I can never like visit them or raid them because they're not streaming. So I can't, well who am I raid? I'm just end up raiding nobody because there's nobody like on my, that I'm following that is streaming. I tried like asking on social media for more people like follow, looking for more people to follow at my time slot so I can raid them before or after or whatever. They can raid me and I can raid them and whatever and I just, it didn't work. Nobody, nobody saw my message on social media so that's sad. Where are we going? Wait, we came from over there. Oh, we're going this way. The Twisted Castle. Literally twisted. Oh, oh. Get it because it's all jagged. I'm hilarious. Ah, giant balls! I wasn't expecting that. Must kill the giant balls. I wish I had an AoE dot. Manually dotting all of these enemies is not fun. Okay, I think we did it. Now, die balls. Diabolical. Wow, nice. Congratulations, dude. I am of the first group. You invited me. I, I, I would have showed up if you invited me, but I didn't know what was happening, so I had no idea. Uh -huh. We're just playing Doom right now, I think. But it's over now, so I'm... I missed it. It appears! Rats have wandered into my castle! Is she the mistress of the castle? Tear them apart if you must! The drifting either will suffice. Whoever... Whoever she is will tend to her like the rest. Evil dreamer. Lovely. Cleaning time, eliminate the rats. Eliminate the rats. Give me a sec while I put bio on every single one of these enemies. Every single one. Okay. things. Why are there so many? so stacked. Look how stacked they are. Kind of weird to see. Oh. I 
think we're in a bad spot. Oh no, we're good. Out of my way. Come on, Estinian, what a waste! You don't even do AoE, dude. Oh, wait, dude. This is not it. This is not it. They just keep coming! It's never ending. It's never ending. Uh, is this like. What is this like? This is like in DD when you have a swarm, slowly making each and every one have less and less health as you keep killing them? I hope so, because they do seem to be dying faster. Oh, it became a big one. It's a big dreamer. I was like, what is that going to do? Did it. Zero deaths. A very well thought, my friends. Let us press on. Alright, to the rest of the castle. Ooh! A little walkway. Very cool. By the sisters. That must be the castle proper. Not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. Wait, was there a chest back there that I didn't open? I'm like, wait, that was the first boss. Did it not have, like, loot? For us to loot? Guess not. They're just like, oh, you want gear? That's cute. How nice of you to want gear. Yeah, I guess no gear for us. Okay. I had to buy this gear to even be here, man. <laughs> Hello! Giant things? If the mistress is here, we must repay her earlier kindness. Doggies? Flying guy and gargoyle guy. Yes. Eight months? I will not hold back. I 
guess we go this way. Is that cat gonna become a monster? There's no way the statue is just gonna be a statue, right? Oh, I guess it is just a statue. Some sort of unicorn cat. Unicorn cat. Let none escape. Let thy not be a bitch. so fun just destroying my finger by pressing four, five. Oh, my poor finger. Bye, horsey. Ooh, treasure! What are you gonna give me? Bracelet of fending. Do I look... Do I look like a tank? I'm not done yet. I still have to play Final Fantasy 16. I still have to play Final Fantasy 16. I don't know when that game is ever going to come out. But I guess I'll have to... I'm going to continue playing Final Fantasy games until Final Fantasy 16 comes out. And I have a list of many more Final Fantasy games that exist to play. I, I, have, to, I have to play the 7 remake, I guess, at some point. I don't think it's been released on PC, though, so... My life is hard. But I'm gonna switch over to my spring and summer schedule soon, which means I'll actually be streaming less. Cause I'll be, I want to go outside. So I'll actually be going outside during the daytime and then streaming only at nighttime. And if the weather's bad, I'll be trying to make some YouTube videos. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking after this I'm going to have to take a break from streaming just to make all of the content out of all of the streaming I've done. I'm actually really impressed by the people out there who are not only... They're not only uh, streaming, but they're also editing videos, right? Hey, hi Tommy! Thanks for, thanks for rating. Thanks for rating the G spot. That's a lovely copy pasta. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Amazing. Actually amazing. I'm <laughs> it's going okay. We... And also, thank you for following as well. It's going great. I'm just, you know, trying to complete this patch 6.2. And I had a gear score issue, so I had to go spend all my money to buy gear. So that was fun. But, uh, yeah. I'm... We're doing it. I don't know how people who are making YouTube videos and streaming at the same time I don't believe them if they're doing that by themselves. They have to have help, right? There's no way that there's people who are 
not only releasing videos every week, but they're also streaming every week as well. I, I don't know. I can't do it. I don't know how they're doing it because I can't do it. I guess I have to ask them. The woman in the painting, do you suppose? Aye, I suspect it is the mistress in the bygone days. Justinian. Surprise, surprise. I sense potent magic from her. Have care. Beatrice. Maybe I'm just streaming too much. I'm definitely streaming too much. Where's the picture? I didn't see this picture he was talking about. So I definitely might just be streaming too much, which is why I don't have enough time to edit anything. Because The thing is, I'm also, like, producing a podcast and streaming, and I'm trying to, like, I don't know. I hate my life. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> Thank you for following. I did this to myself. This was my only option, to be fair. Uh, I'm not allowed to get a real job unless it's highly educated, real job because of where I live. Oh, I don't want to look at that. I don't know what that was, but I didn't want to look at it. <laughs> I'm an immigrant, so I'm not allowed to, uh, I guess we should stand back here because this was the last one. I'm an immigrant, so I'm not allowed to get like a normal kind of job, I guess. I'm trying to pay attention to chat and also do this mechanic. It's mechanically pretty fight. Oh god. Why did I choose the heal this? I hate myself. That's a thing though, right? You're just doing one podcast. I'm doing three different channels. A Twitch channel, my YouTube channel, and then my father and daughter YouTube channel as well. I'm just gonna look over here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, oh, I don't. I'm gonna definitely be seen by that one. What's that? Away with you. Huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. I died. I don't even know what I died to. But I died. <laughs> I looked away for a split second and I died. Uh, I think, yeah, I think the problem is I have to, and I have to freelance to actually make money since I'm not allowed to uh, get a, get, like, I can't even go work at, like, the gas station or something. I'm not allowed to do that. I have to get a green card to do any of that. So I have to do freelance, which means I have to, you know, type to people saying, hey, let me do stuff for you. And then I have to, I'm producing this YouTube channel, and then my own YouTube channel, and then my own stream. I'm definitely doing too much by myself, but I don't want to die, so... <laughs> I'm, yeah, I went from the US to the Netherlands, so currently, I'm currently doing that. And I've been living in the Netherlands for seven years, so I would like to not go back to the US. Thank you. I wish the US would become bad. I can't believe you moved to the US. That's impre That's not me. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I don't want to go back to the US. If I'm going back to the US, it's in a body bag. I, I will be dead. And there will be a funeral. Uh, because I do not want to live in the US ever. Ever. 23 years were enough for me. And honestly, the reason I moved to the Netherlands is because of bikes. That's right, bike infrastructure. 
The only other place I could move to for that is Denmark. <laughs> and Ma China doesn't even have as many bikes as the Netherlands has, actually. I love being able to bike somewhere without a car. It makes me so happy. Alright, let's try not to die again. Yeah. I have no idea what I'd die to, but... Just follow your Stola. She'll tell me what to do. Okay, she does a circle of eyes. And I guess I'm supposed to stand in... Oh no, I'm definitely still not supposed to look at them because you stole it, turned around. Damn it, you stole it, you tricked me. Uh. Okay, so she's creating a pie. And I need to stand. What did I, wait, what did I die to? I had doom, that's what I died. I had doom, dude. <laughs> God, that's what killed me. I got doomed. It all makes sense now. I'm supposed to be doing mechanics and curing myself of doom. That's fine. Sure. <laughs> Let me go get my lasagna. I feel I feel bad for not. Let me get my lasagna and then I will do this again. I did not burn my fingers off. Where were we going? Doom! I have to pay attention to Doom as well as the mechanics. Lovely. You do SoundCloud, you mean you make music unsolved? Are you making sick beats? I use Spotify for the podcast, but then I just use a... Uh, what's it called? That link. I can't remember what it's called right now, but I just use that and upload the podcast to all platforms through that. Well, for a Spotify link, so I don't really have to do anything. I don't know what Trovo and Rumble are. I've never heard of that. Well, maybe I've heard of Rumble. Isn't that where all the Nazis stream? <laughs> Or something like that. Ugh. No, I don't know what I I don't know what Trovo and Rumble is. There's somebody on my threads who was like, if you are streaming on this platform, I'm blocking you instantly. And I was like, I didn't even know about that platform until you mentioned it. So I guess I should be happy. I don't know what that is. Right, let's summon my fairy back again. And try not to die to the doom. <laughs> I'm so confused what killed me there. I'm just trying to do my opener, you know? That's all I want to do. My opener, and then after that, you can kill me, I guess. Of my way. What did I get doomed from is the real question. Okay, so... 
this side first. Okay. Oh, the circles on the ground. I see. I see. Okay. The circles on the ground, if there's a line in it, it's gonna hit us. Makes sense. All right, mechanics. I think it doom though. I'm so confused by that. Is it because I touched something? gonna stand here. I don't know where else to stand. I don't know where to look for here. I think I got it. to stand in this circle and then I can this circle should be safe yeah okay. figure it out away with you get him Stinian I know we don't have one to break never mind Stinian's not gonna get him Tragic. did it! Woo! Completely undistracted. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> if I just know, if I don't pay attention to anything. Okay. Uh. They're too strong. Someone else can devour them. Huh. She's quick on her feet, if nothing else. She may still be a threat. After her. Ooh, a cool chair. Sit. Oh, it lets me sit in the chair. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. <laughs> Was not actually expecting it to line up that well. Ooh, these are cool trees. How am I supposed to think this place sucks when it looks so cool, you know? It's so purple and edgy, and I'm supposed to be like, oh, what a shame. This world got destroyed and turned into a edge meister's paradise. No mercy. Out of my way. Giant web crap. Oh, I'm sticky. Nice job, Estinian. You killed that spider good with your giant attack. I wonder what these cool orbies are falling out of the sky. Well, they definitely designed a cool place. Evil butler. Oh, 
Oh, there's way more butlers. I thought there was only two, but there's four. This is in the sky. Do boards and appreciate flowers too, I wonder? We have her now. I sense something sinister in the air. There's a bunch of sinister things all over the place, actually, so I'm not surprised. Sean, don't die. Oh, we got it. We got it. God, they're kind of terrible at AoEs. I'm just pressing five. Not very. I don't need to do that. Oh, we did it. We survived. Uh, it was nice to do some hard healing there. That felt good. I could probably use my Fey pack, but that's fine. Trapped in my own domain? No, I don't want to be eaten. Oh no, I don't want to eat Beatrix. She thinks we want to eat her? I don't think she's on the menu. So the gate did open again and delivered the most mouth-watering morsels. Oh no, she's gonna get eaten by this guy. Oh! No, Beatrice! Imagine surviving this long and then dying. That's bad. I am Scar Million, Archfiend of Earth and First. Golbez! That's who I was thinking of. I'm like, where's Gold? Is that Golbez? Are we do are we Golbezing right now? He's not secretly my brother, is he? I hope not because that would be really awkward. I don't have any siblings. In Final Fantasy IV music playing right now. Kill yourself. I don't know why it makes me so angry, but it makes me so angry that there's Final Fantasy IV music playing right now. It's because I hated Final Fantasy IV. I 
that enemy from Final Fantasy IV? Because I don't remember all of those bosses, to be honest. I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. I need to heal myself. Oh no. I'm gonna die. Out of my way. Fairy was I should not have summoned my fairy away. This hurt. That was not the time to do that. Protect me, my minion. Hello? Why did you go that way? Justinian, I believe in you. Like it blade work, you say? Oh shit, it's this again. I did not remember that one. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by that. <laughs> I'm too busy trying to heal myself. Uh, I should just follow the NPCs because they know what's gonna happen before I do, that's for fucking sure. Uh, I had no lustrates, man. If I had some lustrates, but instead I read it on doing DPS. Curse that YouTube video I watched that was like, Healers are basically just DPS with heals, and I'm like, okay, so I'll just do DPS then. <laughs> I need a stronger brain in order to determine whether I... Well, first of all, I don't know the mechanics, so I can't exactly predict what's about to happen, so I won't know what I need to do for the next phase until it already happens. So that's the problem here. I just don't know the pattern. This is my first wait, first time being here. Oh my gosh, how long have I been in here? 20 minutes, I think. Classic. Classic. Trusts. Did I finish uploading that YouTube video? Just 
the things I think of while I'm busy doing other things. I did finish uploading it. Nice. Okay, cool. I'm not completely useless. My team. That still have the copy paste here. Um. Or. Do it again. Oh, nice! I do. Oh, isn't that convenient? All right, let me just upload the short too. Okay, back to running. <laughs> oh, so I feel like we we're so close to finishing as well. Thanks. That was bad, man. Let me drag and drop you into here, please. Seems to be a pattern to this, the AOEs are in. Why is he still dying? Okay. Oh, I see, there's walls. Oh, my bad. There's freaking walls in the way. My blade That's gonna kill me. Run away! You underestimate me! No mercy! Fine, you're fine, everything's fine. Protect me, my minion. It's minion time. Come um, die. You're stubborn for not dying.
I am doing the game. Yes. I am doing the game. I don't understand that. I'm degreed. I'm just gonna stand here. We did it! I guess I should also eat this person and then get even more juicy either. Mmm, delicious. Am I supposed to... I'm not gonna consume that? Okay, I guess I, I will not become stronger. Tragic. Not this time. Alright. At least we get some treasure and some of those Allegan tombstones that I need to update my character, I guess. We don't even have a Wonder's Tales. Oh, I should have gotten that. Idiot. Who was that void sent? You know more than me. Is that it? That was a fearsome foe. Indeed. Alright, cutscene time. Please? Oh, please, I'm begging you. Give me a cutscene. This Scarmelione, he knew the gate had opened. And not for the first time. He and his brethren must keep watch over the portal. As we do ours. But to unflinchingly consume our fellow void scent. Like men, perhaps they form factions and fight amongst themselves. The question is, what will the minions do? Uh, gorge themselves, maybe? Mm -hmm. They're coming! They're coming! Uh, looks like we've got a fight on our hands. Are they going to become our friends? Your mistress is no more, and the one who consumed her we slew in turn. Do you still mean to try us? Oh, maybe we're going to win them over from our strength alone. They're going to be like, you're so strong, you can rule us. And then we can get our own vampire castle to hang out in. I expect some void scent are more intelligent than others. Perhaps these ones simply do not understand our words. Oh no, we have to learn to speak <laughs> their language. Even beasts ought to understand strength. You just said they aren't beasts. Are you not listening, Estinian? There is much we do not know about void scent. If we are to survive their world, it would be wise to learn their ways. We're going to become friends with the void scent. Only Final Fantasy XIV would have that happen. Ah, don't overthink it. We'll improvise as we go along. That's what I do. <laughs> if that is your preferred approach, then very well. I shall defer to your adventurer's intuition. Thank you. Appreciate the respect. Mm-hmm. I am here, sister. Finally here. And I will find you. I swear it. I hope so. I really hope we don't find a dead void sent dragon at the end of this, but I have a feeling we will. The dramatic freaking title screen again. Interesting style they're going for for this post game stuff. I never dreamed I would come this far. 
can't thank you all enough for your cooperation. It seems the minions are keeping their distance for now. Let's carry on. This castle should serve as a base of operations for now. Ere we set our sights elsewhere, let's see what there is to learn here. Is there an Aether point? From this point onward, you will not encounter Aetherites for a while. Okay. If you leave Troya Castle, you may return here via Weaver's Warding. Okay. So, don't die, is what they just told me. Whenever, wherever I turn, there's darkness as far as I can perceive. The only source of light here is ourselves. The opposite was true in the first. Varshan wears a look of quiet determination. The warding scale exhibits no change. It should be safe to remain here and begin our search. But whither now? I would sense... Adja, whether she remotely near, but there is nothing. Might you not call to her? I don't know that you have come. Alas, this vessel is not capable of calling across vast distances. For that I require my true form. And even were it possible, a dragon's call is born upon either. It is liable to draw more void scent to us. I see. In any case, there's little exploration to be done while we are confined to this isolated isle. I propose we begin by learning what we can from the castle's occupants. An understanding of their ways may prove useful to our cause. Very well. Let's hope a few of them are capable of speech. Let all remain vigilant while we go about our inquiries. We reconvene afterwards. Very well. Very well. Nope. No new gear for us. Okay, inquiries. This one does not but stare. Yeah, it only has a giant eye. Feral Void Scent. There we go. There we go. That's Criddle snarls and glares at you. It is unlikely that you will learn anything from it. I'm not sure if I can do snarl growl noises, but I'll try. It comes up again. Some seem willing to enough to converse. Whether they have the ability to do so is another matter. Watchful void send. What enticing either you have. Give me some. Give me some. Uh. Ah. If only I were stronger, I'd be able to eat you. Fine, fine. I'll find someone else to eat. <laughs> While able to communicate, this one seems to think only of feeding. Better to take your inquiries elsewhere. Okay. <laughs> I bet this one will be able to talk. The spider people. Oh, God. First. Hello, spider person? The mistress's eyes are beauteous, sublime. Tabasga, her gaze is bliss. But now she's gone. Never again will I feel her gaze. No mistress, no orders. What am I to do now? What am I to do now? The creature mutters endlessly to herself, not sparing you so much as a glance. Is it just dancing? Doing a little dance? Ah! It's got like a weird belly hole. I don't like that. I didn't see that before. Cursed belly hole. Yeah, this is cursed. Right. Anyways. I shall. I obey. Please don't teach me. A dragon? What's that? Does it taste good? I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about anything. Uh, the one we caught recently, they seem to know lots. We threw them in the dungeon. Level ones are tasty. Might have been eaten already. You have learned all you can from this void scent. If you look into the dungeon, you might be able to find the clever one it mentioned. Somebody else is here. Hmm, suspicious. 
Like the prevailing tongue in Norvant, the language of this world bears a resemblance to our own. Maybe you assume that they share a common ancestor. Yeah, the source, because they're all split worlds. Or you're trying to say the original language everyone spoke is probably whatever the ancients were speaking, I think. Hmm. What am I waiting for? I was gonna go to the dungeons. I have nothing to share. While those I approached had not no will to fight, neither were they capable of holding a conversation with the name. My experience was much the same. Lower rung, boys tend to have lower intelligence, twould seem. A pity Scarmelione is dead. He was a talkative at least. What of you? I found out there's a dude in the dungeons. Clever void sent in the dungeon. That would be the area in which we emerged. Indeed. Let's take ourselves back there and find this void scent, preferably before its fellows make a meal of it. To the dungeon, then. I just can't believe there's still people alive in here. For whatever many years it's been since the world exploded. Is it gonna auto teleport me to there? Oh no, it's not. Message to the keep. This just reminds me of vampires. The organ music doesn't help either. Or I don't remember these being here. Were these here before? These giant statues? That, that I don't remember that. So many. They're so giant. And there's guys in cloaks as well. This guy doesn't have a head. I can't survive without someone to give me an either. But where, where will I find a new master? These ones are hiding behind here. What are with these creepy statues? I didn't see them before. Were they here before? I did not noticed these before. More lasagna. That's too much lasagna. Need a little less lasagna. <laughs> Thank you. I'm eating a spinach. Salmon lasagna. That's right. Fish and spinach. Pasta. Troyan doorkeeper. Oh, these are the images they're talking about. So she originally looked like this, I guess. And the rest are all faded. Some of them you can still see. Oh, this one's really marked off, huh? Suspicious, huh? That they blocked some of these photos. Great, we got was weakened in the dungeon before being served up to the mistress. Tender, as she called it, and that's why the way she used to like it. Tenderizing. The unicorn cat. That's why I can make you walk all the way through the dungeon. What are these things? This seems suspicious as well. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it is a dog after all. <laughs> it's just a simple void dog.
Why is it making me go so far? Why doesn't it just teleport me to the dungeons? Why doesn't it make me walk there? I guess to show me the spooky statues. At least there's no spooky statues here. Just these manservants with the tongues. Although there are only the one dungeon here, we call it Force, Mistress Orders. But the mistress is gone and her orders are with her. Rats can invest this castle for all I care. So we, because we killed Beatrice, now everyone's gonna die. No one comes and goes from this dungeon without permission. For you though, I'll make an exception. Go on, go! That's so cool. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I don't know why, it's just a flower. But it's like an edgy flower. I don't, it's so cool in a creepy way. All right, back to the Twisted Dungeon. This must mean something, these weird fragmented pieces on the tower. Food for the mistress consumption is kept in these cells. When the mistress devoured, we're free to help ourselves. The clever one is strong. The warden went in to devour the clever one, but he hasn't come back out. Uh-oh. Ethanassian. I mislike the feel of this. Stay on your guard. That definitely looks like the guy from the cutscene. You're correct. Could this be the clever voice There appears to be someone within. Alright. Time to get attacked by a scythe wielding void scent, I guess. Hello? Or is this Xenos again? Because Xenos can't just die. He has to somehow get transported to the 13th. <laughs> like, I'm not convinced they killed this guy. Here. Yes? You want the friend? I guess I can be your friend. Oh, it is Xenos's Reaper thing. Didn't you fade away when Xenos fell? I knew it was, had to do with Xenos. Xenos. The disgraced prince you yourself laid low? Mm-hmm. I see it now. The bottomless darkness. The insatiable hunger. The aura was present when we faced him in Garlemald. When Xenos died, its connection to the source was severed. It was forced to return to the void. It just called me friend. I don't know why you guys are getting all panicked for. And you are the friend, are you not? Yes, I am the friend. Why am I being so worried about it? Why would I be scared about something I've killed twice? Like, just don't care. Xenos was never a fear to me. I was never scared of Xenos. <laughs> Ever. He was never a threat to me whatsoever. Hello? Vanaz crystal? Is that Heidelin's crystal? Ah, I purified them to their original form. What a cool looking hat this guy has. Lady? 
But how? Lady! The light just now. Of course. And thus I am returned. Welcome back to the world of the not void scent, I what guess. What do you mean, returned? Who are you? I was once bound to the man named Xenos. Mm hmm His avatar, until you killed him. Well, he wanted to fight me, so... Avatar, as in the void sent servants of Reapers. In the name of his hunt, Xenos took up that traditional Galian art. And through it, he forged a covenant with a being of the void to lend him strength. Covenant? A curse, more like. He stole my power. There was no equity in the arrangement. My very essence was altered, twisted into a tool to serve his desires. Am I supposed your to be surprised the evil guy was evil? This is your true form, then. Guys, yeah, the evil guy was evil. Not. What does it matter? I don't know, does Indeed. it matter? It doesn't. Regardless of your form, you are a void sent by nature. Okay. So we're being racist now? So answer me this. Typical Elizins, man. They're always racist. In this world, only a fool would attempt to devour a stronger being. And though it was as an avatar, I lost you once. I have no desire to lose again. Good enough for me. <laughs> I was never worried. But things are stinian, I guess. Now, you will answer me a question. What am I doing here? Xenos called you friend. That's what you are? A friend? Yeah, I guess we have some sort of rivalry of some sort. Strictly speaking, I'm Gogoro Mikata. That's my name. So, you're not a friend. Then... What is it? What is a friend? That's a very complicated question. You're gonna have to figure out for yourself. Everyone defines friendship differently. You and me both, Yastola. No idea where this is going. Hello? Great, now we're getting stalked by some void scent. I hate when I'm getting stalked. I assume the dungeon was reserved for those intended for the mistress's consumption. It isn't fortunate that we came here when we did. Hateful, even. You know, Zavatai, what are the odds? We still know little about her before now. I'm glad we found someone who can do more than moan for either. But she will be soon quite hungry, I think. When I served Xenos, my mind was shrouded in hate. But one thing was always clear, his obsession with the friend. What the world means, I don't know exactly. I know only that it refers to you, and what yours that yours was an important existence. Yeah, I think his definition of friend is a bit different than mine. Much as one might expect the unexpected, I doubt any of us could have foreseen this to no events. You weren't seeing the cutscenes! I see, Yastola. She seems different from other Void Scent. At least we've met. And the change we witnessed, I suspect, is due to your crystal purging the excess darkness in her. Even so, she still harbors a great deal of darkness. I'm very keen to hear what she can tell us about herself and about her world. Hmm. 
Mmm, <clears throat> food. Beef stroganoff, hell yeah. That's the one I'm getting. Beef stroganoff. Xenos has been added to my codex. Just in case I forgot who he was. I wish I could forget who he was. <laughs> a lot of people were hyping him up so much, I thought he was actually a cool character. But he, he wasn't. It was just a... Psychopath. While the language of this world is similar to ours, it is her covenant with Xenos that should ensure we could understand one another. The magic for summoning Voidsent also facilitates communication, you see. Without this component, a mage would struggle to make his mind known to his servant. Alright. You got a name? Dark Rub Voidsent regards you questioningly. So, I doubt who came to the dungeon by pure chance. What is it that you're after? We were looking for a void send with whom we could converse, in the course of which we learned of you. We are visitors to this world, and know little and less of its workings and ways. We would be grateful if you could tell us about it, about yourself. So it's information you seek. What do you offer for it? Some either? I beg your pardon? Poison, do not give unless we stand again. If you desire something, you pay the price. That is the sole rule in this world. You call the void. That makes sense. Pray, forgive our ignorance. But what would be an acceptable as payment? I suspect that coin, as we carry, has no value here. Void sent crave one thing alone. Either. In return for the information, I offer you mine. Just not all of it, mind you. I still have need of my life. Very well. Very well. I will tell you no more than you can afford to pay. Then we have a bargain. If we're to talk about the void, let us do so outside. Come with me. I could have offered some aether. I bet we would have been able to afford a lot of information if I gave her my aether. I'm just too important, I guess, to give people people my aether. Alright, time to walk for a long time. My favorite, my favorite YouTube chat bot. Mm -hmm. Needn't worry for me, my life is a small price to pay for her knowledge, and I will recover it quickly enough once we've returned home. If we return home, we stole her. We cannot allow your store to bear the burden alone. When next the opportunity arrives, I will offer my own either. There are one rule is no different from that of many in our own world. Those like Alvinard who are a rare breed. Alright, tell me what you can tell me. This is where I belong. My home. This endless darkness you call the Void. There was once light here, and it shone its warmth upon creation. The lands were green and the seas were blue. Life flourished. Before the war. The Contra Memoria. It must have been a terrible war indeed. I mean, it destroyed the world, so... It shattered the balance, causing darkness to engulf the world. All life was transformed into monstrosities, void scent. We are the natural order now. As light begat sin eaters, darkness begat void scent. Yes. The sun was. You talked to the sky, she talked to them like they were there. I was the only one who was night. there. In time, even land and sea lost their distinction. And though the spark of reason had died in us, 
driven by memory's shadow. We formed factions and carved out domains. This is Beatrice's domain. This castle, for instance. Its erstwhile lord must have abided in such a place once upon a time. If I may, the darkness in you is too much for any man to harbor. To my eyes, you are indeed a void scent. Yet your knowledge of the past and your demeanor mark you apart from your brethren. You are different, that much is plain, but in what way I am unsure. Maybe she was a warrior of light. As you say, I am void scent, but only in part. The darkness touched my mother when the war had only just begun. When I was still ah, born. you were born. Interesting. As a child, I looked like any other, but darkness coursed through me, and I ceased to age when I become a woman grown. She's a vampire. I knew it. But that was then, <laughs> and now, I may as well be one in full. I prey on the weak and serve the strong. I live to survive. Nothing more. Forgive me. It was not my intent to pry. You're gonna have to pay for it, so... I realize, too, that I have neglected to ask your name. Thank you. I've been asking your name for a while As now. Say mortal, you may call me Void Scent. That is liable to cause confusion. If you are not averse, we would address you by your true name. Then call me what you will. I care not. Okay, we get it. You're edgy. Somebody give this woman a name. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm too cool for a name. How about Zero? Zero to hero, baby. Meaning nothing. A name as fitting as any. No, not nothing, but rather a beginning. For it remains to be seen what you will become to us. Yeah, I guess one wouldn't have been a cool name. My name is One. As My I name said, is Uno. I cannot. Zero, then. I think it's a nice name. A name is a string of sounds. Its meaning has no bearing on my nature. <laughs> well, Zero, while there is no end to the questions we could ask, it is only fair that we tell you our purpose in coming here. We are searching for a dragon. One who came to your world long ago. A dragon? Yes. Ajdaya is her name, and she is my sister. If you have any knowledge of her, I beg you share it with us. Oh. Hello, who's there? Did you say something? No. I thought yeah, I you know Estinian, he likes hissing on his free time. Meaning of void scent, perhaps. All right. Zero. Beginning. A curious notion in a world where all has come to an end. For now. No one else seems to be nearby. Perhaps it was just a trick of the wind. If not as out of the ordinary, I should like to hear more from Zero. I can't imagine there are many part void scent like her who remember the world as it was. We may have subdued the voice scent here, but I doubt the remain that way. Remain vigilant. I must say, we are rather exposed here. Perhaps we should continue this conversation within the castle. 
throne room is defensible, giving it a few points of ingress. Let us head back there. Moving wasn't part of the bargain, but I'll comply. I expect my payment promptly. You shall have it as soon as we've arrived. Moving wasn't part of the bargain as she moved us out here to begin with. Whatever you say, lady. Oh, I can't just walk. I have to press the thing. Where's the thing? Take me to the thing. In the place with the things. I don't trust this weird globby reflective surface. This must do something. Right? Why is this here if it's not important? <laughs> There's only two in the whole game. It's one's there, and then there's one in the dungeon. Just theorizing. Oh, this is the picture of the lady. Look at her. I think this place is in pretty good condition for the end of the world. The statues are still really creepy. I don't understand what they're supposed to be doing. Oh, it's a duty. Are we gonna have to fight something? Hooray! I love fighting things. All appears un unchanged here. I feel lies on us. Stay alert. I will see the payment and then we may ask Zero what she knows about Aja. On proceeding, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Oh, we also have to do some battles, huh? This place is as good as any. Let me have the ether now. Okay, sucky sucky. Very well. Oh no, somebody's gonna swipe in and steal it. They aren't dead. Ah, I should miss my mark. That fiend again? But we struck it down, watched it die. Yeah, it turned into purple crystals. <laughs> Fools. Death doesn't exist in this world. And I, I am free to return whensoever I please. They must like this track so much they just can't that replace it with a different exist. track, huh? Of course, in the first, the power of light, of passivity, prevents life from emerging in the empty. But in the thirteenth, the power of darkness, of activity, prevents life from finding rest, even should soul be separated from flesh. So unless one's essence is absorbed by another, it is possible to return again and again. My power 
be reborn! Oh no. All the guys we beat up earlier. Because we didn't suck them up. So they just came back. It's another death they want. I say we give it to them. I guess we need it. I knew we should have sucked up that freaking Aether when it was floating in the air like before. Come on, man. I'm smarter than my own character. <clears throat> if you could lend us a hand, we'd be much obliged. That you would. But you already owe me a debt. And until you make good in it. I won't lift a finger. It's a doggy dog world. We'll speak after you've won. But know that if you lose, I'll help myself to your ether. <laughs> that a bothersome duty should deliver to me this lavish feast. I don't like the tentacles that they have little holes in them. Struggle with all your might. It will make you that much richer and tastier. Okay. Guests on their way. Somebody collect the A there, dude. We need to suck it up, or else they're just gonna be reborn. Hello? This is dumb. This is so stupid. Oh no, they're resurrecting him. We should do something. Nah. Just stand here and watch. That's fine too. Why did a Stinian come over here to hit me in the face? Rude bitch. <laughs> Please, somebody suck up the Aether. So dumb, I hate this. Somebody suck him up, please. A retreat, maybe, in order. Don't I have a crystal? Why can't I just suck him up? 
It's so dumb. When will you learn? No matter what you do, you cannot hope to win. You never know until you try, and I'm always happy to experiment. Zero! Is there no way to stop them from coming back? Yeah, you have to suck them up. Come on, you guys are dumb. There is. But I have no reason to share it with you. <sighs> you know, Zero, you do owe us for one thing. Your name. You'll have your promised ether, but we are owed compensation for your name. <laughs> A name for which I did not ask. But you did take, and do answer to. But that I nevertheless did accept. Look at us being surprised, like we have no That's brains. Trick. Suddenly we can't absorb either. Suddenly our crystals are useless, like, come on guys. Satisfied? Yes, so. Completely. Come, my friends. With Zero's aid, we can defeat him. What is this? What have you done? Now that I think on it, you owe me a debt as well. You may have missed your mark, but I won't miss mine. All right. I'm good. Eat. Scarlet, Scarmillion. What is this power?
literally just pressing 2 this whole time and nothing else. Definitely better, easier than the actual boss fight in the dungeon, funnily enough. Probably because everyone has both of their roles instead of one role. I'm the only one not multi classing either. die right here. Tentacled teeth thing. I don't know what that creature is. Eyes, bulging white eyes. I will return again and again. What? My flesh. Why won't it heal? What is the meaning of this? You've been captured and caught. She isn't the main character. Death has no place in this world. We are beyond it. And yet... Ah, Lord Goldness, you have sent me to my doom. Goldness. Curse you and 
and your wretched flattery and this abominable thing. Wow, I thought the crystal was going to be fatter. Because that was such a big guy. Guess not. It's still quite big, though. I didn't know it was going to be that tall. <laughs> uh, we're echoing? Why are we echoing right now? Oh. Gobez's void scent minions, I guess. These aren't even all the ones that we haven't even seen these ones. You are welcome, seekers of might. I, Golbez, have called you four hither. I, who would see us. It's so hard to take it seriously when it's crusade. like, oh, the villain from Final Fantasy IV. That I <laughs> may entrust you with command. I'm sure he's not going to have the same. Armies. He's not secretly my brother, I'm sure. He's not going to have yes, the same story arc. But what of the crew's In exchange for our loyalty, we are to feast on the finest ether. And so you shall, for if you are to serve me, you must be strong. And what's and this guy's deal? Right. And pray, we are not disappointed. Very well. Behold. Oh shit, it's the dragon! The fiery wings, the savage horns. It pulses with life. Such vibrant ether. No, the this dragon. Why do they keep on killing the dragons? <laughs> Indeed, feast, my friends, feast and arise as my four arch fiends. Well, they ate the dragon and they weren't even strong enough to not get killed in the first dungeon. That's pretty embarrassing. As they are now, they can consume but a fraction of the dragon's ether. Yeah, I know they didn't kill the dragon. Just as well. The creature. It's unnecessary. May yet serve they could have just left it at ends. that and then made me think the dragon's been killed, but instead they're explaining to me that they didn't kill the dragon. Don't worry. Ugh. One I can you know what? I think Game design is great, but the story design of this game really just walking me through the paces just in case I know that it's not all bad. Hand holding narrative here. The void sense essence remains, but it has been sealed away, transformed into crystal. Memoria. Scamilione called them. I take it they are connected to the war of which you spoke. Aye. Their use was central to the Contra Memoria. Hence its name. Insight. And to the right? Age, the transformation is permanent. I see. We thank you for coming to our aid. I repaid a debt. And in doing so ensured that I receive my own due compensation. Which I shall have now. Yes, yes. I still have work to do, so I would thank you not to get carried away. 
her character arc is gonna be being nice. That's her character arc. Not being a shitter, and that's the end. She did it! She came to our rescue without needing either. Wow, what character development. You know, that's what's I'm that's what I'm predicting right now. <laughs> Ether is the coin of choice. I appreciate the simplicity. That makes us even, I trust. Right then. When you picked up the crystal, you experienced a vision, did you not? Yep. They ate the, the dragon sister, but like, not eat eat. You know, like she's still alive, floating around, but Golbez has her, I guess. So we need to go beat up Golbez. Resembling a great you and think there's another one? It was Ashdaya. You think there's another dragon in here? Really? Even as yeah. it pains me to think she's been made to suffer. <laughs> For the ambitions of this Golbez. Golbez. <laughs> We've been given much to consider. Let us take a moment to review what we know. Right. Gold beds and Adza are at his mercy. Then we must find him. Hopefully, Zero has knowledge that will aid us in our search. We've vanquished one of Gold Bed's archfiends, but three remain. The troublesome is that this one, I expect. There's nothing like either of a living mortal. I haven't felt so satisfied since my return. In light of our recent experiences, I expect we all have questions. I trust Zero can answer some few of them. We should still be owed at least that much, I dare say. From Memoria to Golbez and his Archfiends, we have more questions now than answers. But that is a sign that we are making progress. Justinian looks at you with his piercing gaze. Gaze! Hmm, Kokoro. You have come to the 13th before, yes? You fought Void Sent here. But clearly you didn't know they could regenerate, else you would have shared the detail beforehand. I was in a bit of a rush and didn't have time to wait and see. You kind of yeeted out of there with Graha. From what I know of your foray, I can hardly blame you. Perhaps they returned after you left, but if they didn't, there must be a reason why. They got consumed. There are circumstances in which we're unable to return. If you like, I can tell you about this. Please do. The more you devour, the more powerful you grow. But in the process, your essence is blended with those of your prey. If you were to lose your flesh, the souls you have come to harbor may break free and coalesce into distinct voids and once more. And before you yourself return, your own soul might be devoured by your enemies or your erstwhile prey, a fate more likely for the stronger beings who require more time to regenerate. However, even assuming you survived the process, highly uncommon to return as you were. Yet, despite this greater strength, Scarmelion managed to resurrect rather swiftly. Are there others capable of the same? Not that I'm aware. His attachment to his flesh must have been quite unique for him to develop such an ability. I believe we understand the fundamentals of rebirth now. If I may, I would ask about your power. Will you tell us about it? What you saw should speak for itself. I can bind the Aether of the Soul in a crystal. Many wielded this power during the Contra Memoria, but I'm the only one left. I'm told the heroes of the 13th once sealed gods in stones called Arasite. Are they in the Memoria one and the same? Arasite? 
I do not know this word, but the world is vast, and perhaps Memoria had a different name elsewhere. But it does sound quite similar. How does one come to wield Memoria? Or what happens to your peers? Huh. I've never thought about that. I do know, though, that Void said it can't use the power. I assume I can, because I'm mortal in part. That means we can learn to wield it, then. I see. Zero. I wish to ask you about the man called Goldbeds. Oh. He may have my sister in his clutches. Is there aught you can do to tell us of him? The name sounds vaguely familiar, though I can't say how I know it. He is powerful. However, someone in the castle may have heard of him. Then we must talk. try talking to the other void set again. Let us entrust that task to Kokoro. The Echo will help facilitate communication. More importantly, she should be able to maintain her composure better than a concerned sibling. <laughs> uh, that I cannot deny. Forgive me, but you will... You will not ask about gold bears in my stead. Will you not ask about the gold bears in my stead? On the terraces, begin with, perhaps. Thank you. We should remain here and discuss what other avenues we might pursue in the meantime. Alright, I'll go ask about your friends. I mean, your Dolbez. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, do you have any more dialogue? So, with this echo of yours, you can see into the past. Interesting. Those memories may as well be all that remains of it, though. Everything and everyone was warped by darkness. However storied it may appear, this castle is simply the product of his mistress's mind. I know what it feels like to have my essence blended with that of another. Yet, tumultuous though it was, it was only one worm soul. To be bound to scores of others over thousands of years sounds horrible. According to your vision, Golbez recruited his champions and raised an army by offering a dragon's aether in exchange. Whatever his crusade, it is uncomfortable to the dragon's life force as fodder. You lance are for his deeds. Gong Leon, too, appeared surprised by Zero's power, and she says it must be a lost art. This makes her invaluable to our cause, far more than someone who can simply communicate. How convenient for us. Alright. Let's go back to the terraces. The Hydromantic Terraces. following those people who followed me earlier. Let's continue our thing. So clever one hadn't been eaten. If no one wants it then perhaps. Yeah, good luck. Goldbez, of course I know him. Only a fool without ears wouldn't. Okay. His archfiends lead armies to ravage and conquer. They devour those they deem useless. Those who can't fight. If you don't want to be eaten, then you'd better flee. So soon there will be nowhere to run. Seems the archfiend keeps only those who are fit for battle. Others must escape or be consumed. 
ye who he devoured her died. Perhaps the mistress will return. Then I may bask in our gaze again. Good, as you say. My mistress spoke of him. He commands the archfiends. They are very powerful and have conquered many domains. The mistress bade us defend the castle for them. Yes, yes, she did. It seems the archfiends have been attacking other domains. Their fearsome reputation precedes them. Alright. Do you want to burn to tempt me? I mustn't eat you. I mustn't eat you. Gorbez, I know of him from those I've eaten. He has minions. Those minions have minions. No one ever sees him. With his army of minions, Gorbez would seldom have need to act personally. It will be not easy to reach him. We we'll, shall kill them all. Then, all right, we we'll go back. Make me walk back. It's the walking simulator. Wait, wrong way. Way. <laughs> uh, ooh, flying herbs. Flying burbs. No trouble on your end either. Good. I dare say Scarmione's fate served as a sufficient warning. Let's hope that those elsewhere have the same sense. Is there no end to their questions? Huh. I should have demanded more aether. Oh, you've finished already? Or did we get carried away talking? There's no easy way to mark the passage of time in this world. Nor do I imagine such things concern Void Scent. It would take considerable mental fortitude to still take care, still care after millennia and this endless night. Welcome, Kokoro. I'm oh, sorry. Welcome back, Kokoro. Were you able to learn Art of Value? I was not. I was not able to learn Art of Value. I didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to do this. Thank you. What's that? So countless voices answer to the Archfiends. Winton answer to the Goldbez. As your divisions did suggest. Sarah Malone's aggression is also consistent with the claims that the Archfiends conquer other domains. The question is, how do we reach Golden Bears if he surrounds himself with armies of minions? We could target his other archfiends, or perhaps those who have fled service. Either may yield useful information. That said, we can't do much while we're stuck on this side. Virol, I would ask a favor of you. I'm determined to save my sister Adaza. Adaza. If there is an, a, even a faint possibility that Goldblitz has her, then I must find him. To that end, I'd want you to lend us your strength and knowledge. Will you accompany us on our quest? Forgotten the way of my world already? You want my help? Offer payment. None here will aid you out of kindness of the heart. Any who claim otherwise are liars and betrayers. Or is this less a request and more a threat? 
I'm abused. Will you force me to serve? Surely you must desire something. Name it. I have no purpose. Why would I desire anything? That's why I didn't bother to resist when the ones here fell upon me. What matter in the world that is already dead? What matters in a world that is already dead? By that logic, you have no reason to refuse our request. The payment need but be to your satisfaction, correct? Oh, did I not already say that much from the start? Very well, Zero. I propose you travel with us, and whenever you perform a deed that requires payment, we will provide it in either. That is all you had to say. Everything else was superfluous. Fair point. Where to now? Either a place that archlings may strike next, or where the refugees and deserters may seek sanctuary. I know the latter. I'll take you there. I assume you know, also know, how we can get off this isle. I was brought here on a mount. We can leave the same way. Not that you mention it, I did notice some flying creatures near the terraces. Given our numbers, we need a large one, but regardless of size, all can be won over with either. Excellent. Let us go and find our mount at once. Not good. Lord Gobos must hear of this. Oh no. An eyeball's gonna report on us. An eyeball. Okay. To the terraces. Zero will best know how to handle these creatures. Let us watch and learn. But I cared my true forms. I would be able to carry you all. Even were it possible to so enlarge the gate, the risk would be too great. Yeah, we don't want something the size of a freaking dragon going through the gate. Not all void sand can fly. It stands to reason that some would be made to serve as mounts. Yeah, there does seem to be some creatures flying about, huh? We should be able to find a mount here. With the castle in disarray, the creatures will be hungry. Just a little aether should suffice. Are you ready? I am ready to leave the keep. There it is. Come to me, little birdie.
Good. The degrees to serve. Get on. Just like normal creatures and void scent, I guess. I'm so confused. <laughs> it's like, are the are these things not void scent, or are they? I'm so, <laughs> I'm so confused. What is this place? It's where all the rejects hang out. Didn't we already say that? Oh, she has her own domain. How cute. And she takes all the rejects. In the beginning, it was a sanctuary for me alone. But over time, others began to gather here. Those who had nowhere else to go. So she's not a heartless bitch. What do you know? How sweet. A settlement of pariahs. You are under my protection here and will not be harmed. I give you my word. Follow me. I wouldn't be worried about being harmed. If, if I'm going to get killed by some low-level void scent, I just didn't deserve to be the hero of the story, I guess. Is quite a gathering of wood scent. I pray one among them has the knowledge we seek. The longer one lives, the more one yearns for peace. I understand why some would sequester themselves here. It is said that a person's domain is a reflection of what abides in their heart. If, just, if true, this place may offer a glimpse into Zero's past. A destroyed city? Probably. This is my abode. The others won't come near, so you may be at ease. While they know their place, if tantalizing either were to walk by, I can't guarantee they wouldn't pounce. It is a void since nature to consume, their sole purpose. Even if the pursuit of either may lead to their undoing, many succumb to instinct. But any who succumb here will have to answer to me. This is my domain's one and only rule, and it is absolute. Very well. Okay, no new dialogue. Having given your due warning, Zero would lead you to your own devices. Consider yourselves duly warned. If you wish to go amongst the void sent here, that's your choice to make. All have fled from one master or another. But whether or any of these masters in turn served Gobez, I do not know. You must ask them yourselves. Most have traveled to your world, so it shouldn't be difficult to communicate. 
We should go about making our inquiries at once. Thank you for your counsel. Once we have learned all we can, let us reconvene at yonder plaza. Freaking fairy in the freaking way. You're going to, of course. In which case, I shall accompany you. I only wish to observe. Do not expect me to help. I don't know. I'm really tasty either. Then it's settled. I'm ready when you are. Pretty tasty. Oh, is she accompanying me? Ready? Then lead the way. I'll leave it to you to decide with whom you speak. Alright, accompany me, Zero. Oh, I was gonna go in here to check it out. Zero's hideout. An empty freaking shed. Ask about Zero's abode. I call this my abode, but spend hardly any time here. I return only for meditation. While physical wounds can be healed by replenishing ones either, you cannot can't preserve your form if you lose sight of yourself. Such is the risk inherent in consuming another soul. It dilutes your senses of self, alter you inside and out. To guard against this I meditate. Visualize who I am in a place all my own. Makes sense. I'll accept it. Waiting void scent. Who the likeliness is this, you ask? The hero who saved the world? I'm waiting for the day he comes. Was it she? I can't remember the details. I don't know how long I've been waiting, or why I even wait. Could you be the hero, perhaps? No, I don't think so. Something tells me I'll know when I meet him, or her. I just have to keep waiting. Isn't that Silva? Silva had a sword and shield. Ask about the plaza. This is the heart of my domain. Normally it's deserted, but you and yours have drowned everyone out. I don't recall this statue, though. However it came to be here, I certainly didn't wish for it. Okay, if you say so. Empty-eyed void scent. walk around with her like that. You're her minion, then. You know, I don't take minions. She has some questions. I want you to answer them. Go, Bez. I don't know that one. Only Skatash. Skatash. Skatash? When she let us be on the veil, I grew scared and I fled. I've been here since. I don't know anyone else, nor do I wish. That's all I can tell you. The Tosh was a powerful voice and ruled over a vast domain. That was a long time ago, though, so I doubt she has any connection to gold, Bez. That sounds familiar, yeah. Is that not one of the dungeon bosses or something? <laughs> Hungry Void Scent. Uh, stay away from me. If you don't want to be eaten, stay away. It's Golbez. I've heard that name before. I remember. I was speaking of a great crusade. I don't know what it is, but it sounds delicious. A crusade, you say? From whom did you hear this? Farfair. Farfello. It was a minion of another minion on about terrible things he saw. I see. Perhaps Farfello Farfarlo can tell us more. Far Farfarlo. Again. <laughs> I can't speak. Amiable void scent. A little impy. You're one of the mortals, is it true? When you die over there, you really die? Sure do. So it is. So it is. What brings you here, then? I'm here about Golbez and the dragon. Ah, oh, yes, Golbez. He takes strong minions to grow his army, so I hear. But recently, he stopped doing that. and said he devours all. Perhaps he's gathered enough fodder and now intent on bolstering his own strength. It's so shine that he's about to make a move. Satisfied with what you've learned? Ah, but let's step away before you become too tempting to resist. I'll just slap him in the face. It'll be fine. I've never been killed by an imp. 
It seems the rumors of Gobez reach even my remote domain. Bad to assume he's gathering strength for his crusade. Whatever that may be. But I must say, I wouldn't have guessed that Farfello once fought in Gobez's army. The miracle he survived serving an archfiend. My fairy's just swimming in her hat. Oh, I suppose I should explain. That fellow is the weakest among us. Constantly in fear of being devoured. He seldom consorts with others. The only one he is comfortable with is Seracio. He's a fellow coward who runs with the instant he senses a threat. He won't stop until he's exhausted. When their hunger grows too intense, they feed on each other's either. Such is their relationship. But I ramble. You intend to seek out far... Fairlo, I presume? I guess. Then I'll come with you. He's likely to hide that way. He's less likely to hide that way. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Evil Gobez stuff. Watch out, it's evil Gobez stuff. Not only did the mortals conquer Troy, they defeated. I struggle to believe it. I don't. I'm the freaking hero of the story, so not that hard. This one speaks of the Moria. <laughs> now there's something I'm not here tonight. We can bring a pang of nostalgia to my breast and a tear to my heart. <laughs> the very notion was an absurd! I'm having Final Fantasy IV freaking flashbacks right now. And yet, Scarmillione still does not answer. Yeah, because he's dead. Were Super he dead. alive, he would have returned by now. Weakest though he was, his ability to regenerate was without peer. <laughs> if this account is true, it's if me, a baby. has survived. They cannot be suffered to live. Leave this matter to me, Lord Gorgas. I, Arborikia, shall strike down any who pose a threat to our plans. Tis true, you are a proven commander. Well suited to leading an assault. The sexy lady is gonna attack us. And when I have succeeded, I would then a boon of you. I mean, she sounds like a sexy lady. I don't know why they would give her that voice if she's not a sexy lady. What do you desire? <laughs> Death. The I mean, wait, what? All that remains. I agree. Don't eat the dragon. I'm here to save her. My locks are free as the wind. Without incentive to sway them, I know not whither they will blow. Hmm. Boldly spoken. I we have trust to. Now we do have to defeat her, otherwise she's gonna eat the me. dragon. Upon this flowing hair. And my immortal soul, I will not fail. I feel bad for her because she's about to get a rude awakening, the indeed. Of defiance. My lord. Okay, let's see. 
Oh, we're talking to Zero again. Never mind. Oh, wait. Let me go talk to our other NPCs in case they have cool dialogue or something. It was our order to strike down the cloud of darkness that my sister crossed over into your world. What befell her after she vanished into the gate? How did she become Gorbez's captive? These things and more I hope to learn. I also hope they tell us the answer to those questions. Where is... Yustola in a Stinian. Oh, look, they're playing in the little pond. If a void sent us too weak to create his own domain, it must join with the others for protection. Alternatively, it might devour them in a bit to become stronger. In so doing, risk losing its sense of self. It isn't an enviable struggle. Thanks a lot, Asians. You still can't be that far, can she? You're hiding far, far away. Where are you, Yustola? I don't see her anywhere. Is she in this alleyway, perhaps? Maybe she's not loading because I'm too far away because the LOD in this game is so small. Not allowed to jump. No! I can't fall to my death. Whee! Oh, took no damage from that. Dola, are you over here? Where the hell is she? I guess she's hiding somewhere. Maybe she's on the other side of the map. With my luck, she's all the way over there. And I'm not walking over there. I've walked enough. Let's just... To zero. Well, fellow keeps to the fringes of my domain. This way. about Farfellow's hiding place. The voids in here don't answer to the master. They can do as they please, but all must answer to the hunger and seek out prey when they need either. Except Farfellow and Sirasho. That is, they are content to take from one another. Barring an incident, they dare not venture out. When he takes flight, Sirasho will not seek shelter and is utterly spent. Farfellow Fellow, on the other hand, prefers to hide in the same place. Come. I like how every time I say that name, I say it with an Italian inflection. Seracio! Linguini! Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Whatever will I do now? Ooh! Seracio! Seracio! This is rather unexpected. Where is Far Pharaoh? Right, Pharaoh? Uh, Fail isn't here anymore. He's uh, left. Yes, yes, that's right. Left? That doesn't sound like him at all. Ooh, well, he's gone, all right. Ooh, what more do you want me to say? Did you eat him by accident? And off, off he flees, as it is his wont to do. But something about this doesn't sit well with me. What do you make of Seracio's behavior? I think... I don't think he was telling the truth. I think he ate his friend. So you think so too? He, as he says, Pharaoh is gone. That is quite unusual. As is the fact that Seracio, who was clearly frightened by something, chose not to flee, but instead hid here. Where far Pharaoh, far Pharaoh, usually. No, we must go after Seracio, now. I'll never be able to say this character's name. Far Pharaoh, far Pharaoh and Seracio. 
The Italian brothers. Oh no, it's Mario and Luigi. A cursed version. Serasio, we need to talk. There's no time. The, the wind rises. We, we must flee. The wind rises? What is he talking about? After him. Uh, the wind aspected archfiend is coming to eat our asses out. I'm looking forward to it, I'll be honest. Alright, let's go. Let's g g g g get it. What's gotten into you? What do you mean the wind rises? When the wind rises, she comes. Babashia! Bab Baba Risha? Who in the world is that? We must flee, all of us. There's no time. It does look pretty windy out there. I don't sense anything, but he seems convinced. The dead end beyond will corner him. Baba Risha. Everyone's suddenly Italian. This isn't just me, right? <laughs> Everyone is suddenly Italian. doomed there's nowhere to run what are you running from I already told you Barbarigia the archfiend of wind archfiend you say we will be devoured or forced to serve the fight in the crusade but it makes no difference in the end all are eaten by her and her enemies I don't want to fight anymore, that's why I fled and came here. I see, that explains everything almost. I thought it was Far Fellow who used to serve as an archfiend, not you. Not you, who always ran at the first sight of trouble? You, who now speaks as though you were Barbicia's minion? There's only one explanation. Ye devoured Far Fellow, didn't he? Indeed, that would account for his uncharacteristic behavior. So, this is the way of it. Did you devour our fair fellow? And not just a portion of Zayther, but his entire being. Oh, how did you know? It was only your behavior that felt strange. You felt strange. As if there was more than you present. Now I don't believe you would have lost control. Most likely it was all far fellows behest. I can't hide anything from you. I admit it. Far fellow didn't leave. I ate him. He feared Barbaricia more than anything. He did the endless fighting. So he begged me to devour him. But he would never have to fight again. Rather than an eternity of fighting, he chose a moment of pain. For well, like the good it did, I can still hear his voice in my head. He's frightened. So very frightened. When you've eaten, your essence is blended with that of your devourer. And though you have no control, your conscience is part and doers. Were this a world where the will of life and death still tend, the soul wouldn't linger so stubbornly. In time, we'll return to the great flow. But there's no such end here, no escape. All that, all, all know this. In making his choice, for a fellow must have been desperate indeed. And now that the desperation has joined with Seracio's fear, driving him to act erratically. This blaze will become a battlefield. We don't want to be eaten in the mean of our fellow. Ah, oh, but there's nowhere to go. Nowhere. 
Then tell me about Barbarisia. I would know who is it we face. It's too late. She's good here. No one can escape our winds. No one. Well, I guess we're about to find out. I don't remember any of these bosses. I need to replay Final Fantasy IV, man. I don't remember any of these guys. Hello? And she's brought her domain with her. How nice of the her. The Archfiend's after you and yours, I shouldn't doubt. Perhaps you should go and find them. But be warned, whatever this is about, do not expect us to get involved. I would never assume anything like that. Of course. You'll be fine. Or maybe not. Maybe you do get eaten. I don't know. I'm not in control of any of this. Perhaps you will die. One of the arch fiends approaches. They must ah, have been you know. our movements. She's here. Windy. Ah, yes, I remember you. I don't I actually I remember killing her easily. Was she not easy? Wasn't she one of the easiest ones to fight? Oh no, I don't remember now. I need to really need to replay Final Fantasy 4. Excellent. Uh, You've saved me the trouble of traveling to Troya. You're welcome. So you're Barbarici. Barbarici. My dear man is mortal. My name is not to be spoken, save in reverence and fear. Sounds like you're gonna have to make me. And what is this pitiful to me? That's the point. Pitiful wretches all. I will put you out of your misery. Not until we've got that Aether from the dragon back. No! You're just letting her- Yeah, oh, it doesn't matter. I guess she'll die sooner or later. It won't matter what she does. They can eat everyone. We'll just kill her and then she'll be releasing them anyways. Alas, poor Scarmillione. And good riddance. Felled by outsiders in pursuit of what? Pray tell. Uh, we're here to get your dragon. A dragon. One who crossed to this world thousands of years ago. Know you ought of it? She knows that she's gonna <laughs> eat dragon, it. dragon, you say? My Lord Golbez is more clever than I realized. To let the prize live that it might lure more prey to us. Very well. In gratitude and service, I shall devour every last mote of their souls. Bring it, please. Where is she? Where is Ashdaya? Probably in the Great Fortress huh. or something. You even share its scent. How curious. And irresistible. Ugh. If you think us easy prey, you're wrong. Unlike Scarmiglione, I need not skulk in shadow to claim what is mine. If you would know about the dragon you seek, then enter into my domain. Okay. I'll be right you there. Flee instead if you wish. If the fate of I've the never run away from no anything. One way or another. I can't I think of the last time Kokoro ran away. Maybe in Stormblood when 
we were running away from the, the fight with uh, Tusano. I guess that's maybe the last time I ran away from something. I can't think. What's the plan then? Uh, we go beat her up, like we always do. Yeah, go after Barbar 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 What was it again? Barbachia. What else? Go after Barbachia. What else? Indeed. Even a question, Yet she dude. she have the upper hand in her domain. We must be no less than fully prepared. We are. We have weapons. Let's go punch her in we'll the face her with them. find her and them. get our answers. Will you be joining us, Zero? Of course not. You may be easily goaded into accepting her challenge, but my curiosity is not so insatiable as to cloud my judgment. I've literally never lost a fight. What are you talking about? If you are <laughs> desperate for my aid... Canonically, I've never lost price. a fight. I shall pay it. So long as you leave me strength enough to see my sister home, you may take as much as you wish. And lest you forget, mine is no ordinary ether. Barbaricia too Not that recognized its sweet potency. Sweet dragon kush. Or something. Very well. We have a bargain. We have a bargain. All right, let's go. To the Windy Isle. I'm guessing. Windy time. It's windy time! What little I learned in your absence did not pertain to the Archfiends. That discussion can wait until after we've tended to Barbariccia. Just you wait, Barbariccia. I will have my answer from you yet. I have no intention of demanding anyone's ether until afterwards. Quickening you now would only reduce my chances of getting paid. The less time we give the enemy to prepare, the better. If everyone is ready, then let us set forth. Indeed. And yet my heart weighs heavy for those Barbariccia struck down. Were it not for us, she would not have come here. Should you require a moment, Zero? Or what? Barbariccia took what she could. It was wise to try quickly, as we would be. Agreed. This is no time for sentiment. Only the battle matters now. The battle. The battle. Actually, no, I can't m meld materia because I'm not, I'm not a materia melder. They have no new dialogue. Scarlymone possessed the power of regeneration. Let's see what Barbarissa can do with her wings. Zero has a word of warning before you go to face Barbarissa. Barbarissa. A word of warning? Barbarissa spoke as if she would give us answers if we were to defeat her. But even assuming she'll talk, which I doubt, I trust I needn't tell you how foolish it is to give an Archfiend a second chance. Best to steal her away at the earliest opportunity. And if you wish to peer into her past, the memoria will suffice. I'll try, but I can make no guarantees. You do that, and if you fail, well, you'll just have to search elsewhere for answers. Why haven't I trained to be able to use Echo at my own will? Rest assured, this won't be our last opportunity to learn of Ajdaja. Another Octreen were to fall, Gobez would surely be compelled to respond. We need only wait for our quarry to come to us. Indeed, if our struggles with Scarly Mayon taught us aught, it is that we must hold back nothing. Nothing back when facing an Archfiend. Let us heed their advice and sail it away with the earliest opportunity. If we're all in agreement, then let us be off. We travel by Nishosh. Nishrosh. 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 I can't say that word. <laughs> this. Nish. Nishrosh. 
Ooh, it's made out of hair. That's pretty funny. That's interesting enough. It's a hairy place. You're not the only ones who can ride the wind. We really need to learn how to do the ceiling ritual so that I can also do that. Yeah? Leave these ones to us. I see to Barbaricia. I will try. What a hairy place. <laughs> Gonna get hairy. <laughs> It's summoning time. Lucky for us, it might just be late enough for people to be here to summon. Well, we can only hope. Alright. That's not the button I wanted to press. Storm's crown. Hopefully we not too long of a wait because we're a healer, so I guess we can go hunting on the moon. Oh, this isn't the right one. Matato and Labyrinthos. Oh no, sorry. The Yakao. I'm always reading I'm always reading the location, not the name of the monster. Agaja. A regolith. A lotus. And finally, Ostracon Deca Hexi in Ultima Thul. Oh, sorry, no, a level tricker. Why am I so. That's why I just can't. I just can't read. Okay, and. Did we already. Did we not get the. The one? Oh, this one. Vajra and Thavna. Cute little armadillo thing. Okay. I'll go to Charlian first then. The Labyrinthos at the... Oh, actually from, from Charlian even. fly here, right? Yeah. The only place we can't fly is Ultima Thule and I think, um, what is it? Where am I thinking? I'm thinking of somewhere. I can't think of where it is. <laughs> the moon! We can't fly at the moon either. Because we did not collect all the either there. Right, somewhere down here is where we're going. Or the yak cow, the yak cow. I see what we're going for there.
I must kill this first. Hooray! I got second it. DPS, DPS, we're waiting for you. again. The great work. Come on, other healer. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Because I'm going to do this trial in the hairy place. It's There's so much hair. <laughs> Hello, friends. Babarichi. Babarichia. Come. Not a Final Fantasy game if there isn't a half naked woman. I may feast upon your essence. Not if I do it first. This is a hairy situation indeed. Exquisite music. My hair is shivering with anticipation. Can I not summon my fairy? Oh. Oh, no, no. I forgot to summon my fairy. I quick summoned my fairy and I still, hum, sum, still hum, somehow did not summon it. It's pretty impressive on my part. Oh, okay. I didn't understand what that was indicating. Why does it create new indicators so that I can be confused on what they mean? Literally, what? Literally, what does that I those icons mean? No idea. <laughs> okay, a spinning circle. I don't know what that means. I'm in a hair. I am the hair.
You feel it too, do you not? That was rude. I guess I got too far away. You've done well to last this long. But the battle has only begun. There's so many effects going on. Oh! She's going into her supreme... Oh! Muscle thighs! Hello? I don't remember that. I don't remember this in Final Fantasy IV. She's a mu she was secretly a muscle mommy this entire time. Tank, dude. Why would the tank move? I was like moving out of the way of the tank and then the tank moved to where I was moving. Fuck you. God, oh, it's my own trust issues, I guess. things happening right now. I don't even know. Feel my fury. Know your place. There's so many effects happening right now. Like how? Did I not summon my furry? What's wrong with my fairy? Why isn't it coming out? <laughs> Literally, what is wrong with my game? I'm like asking to res. I'm actually like I'm telling it to summon my fairy and it just refuses. Like literally pressing the summon my fairy button with swift cast and it's still not summoning it. Pretty impressive. Ah, what a mess. What a freaking mess. Everyone's already left. Alright. Another Archfiend checked off the list. Freaking, I guess, three more to go? I think it was five. With more right. of the dragon's ether. Where's it for? Can yet. You're finished. Damn it all! Should have gone to the gym more, bro. I 
I didn't even notice the floor was made out of black hair. Not then, huh? No echo this time. You know, Banat taught us how to do this, but we just forgot that she t told us how it works. <laughs> I see you've bested Barbariccia. Well done. Her minions too are all crystallized or scattered. The day is ours. Another job well done. Tell me you learned something about Ashdaya. No, sorry. I suck. <laughs> so the Archfiend and her crystal yielded not. Our efforts have not been entirely fruitless. We have deprived your sister's captor of another powerful champion. With Zero, we may yet challenge Golbez and his minions. Indeed, we could not have come this far without your aid. Thank you, Zira. Give her so her due reward, I guess. I but fulfilled my part of the bargain. And now I will have my... My... Uh. Oh no, she's gonna die. Somebody give her some aether, quick. Her ether is nearly spent. Perhaps unsurprising given how much power she used. I wouldn't want to face another Archfiend without her. We should hurry back to Zero's domain. Very well. Agreed. Eager though I am to continue, it would be unwise to risk our lives for the sake of haste. Let us suspend the mission and tend to Zero. Zero hasn't so much as third. Such power she must have expended. She's only she's only mortal, half mortal. In our present state, Zero's easy prey for the vo other void center. We must be on our guard. Though so slow to be nearly imperceptible, Zero's trust rises and falls in a steady rhythm. Oh yeah, it actually is. Though Zero remains unconscious, she appears otherwise fine, insofar as I can discern at any rate. Being part of Void Center, her physiology may be rather different from ours. Let's observe her for a while as we discuss our next move. Even those part of Void Center require rest, I imagine, and her own abode seemed as good a place as any. Unlike the source, however, there's scant ambient aether for her to drop on here. Yeah, get feeding her, Varshan. You owe her that much. In our present state, there was... Oh, no, word. Same dialogue. Okay. Feed her up. Concern with is writ plain on Varshan's face. How long do you suppose she will remain this way? Do you give her some aether? I haven't the faintest inkling, nor can I say whether aether will can we can afford to share will be enough to awaken her. It would be best to take her back with us to the source. There should be guaranteed at least all she requires. She's half mortal at least. Zero cannot give her consent, but it seems we have no choice. The alternative would be to leave her here, defenseless. Should you later, later desire it, we can bring her home. She's at least been to the mortal, uh, to the source, with Sinos. Gokro, might I ask you to hold on to Babichia's memory, memoria? 
Let me get to serve a purpose. I'll collect all the crystals. Just call me the Crystal Collector. Isn't that one of the side games? Crystal Collectors? What, what happened to her? You have business with Zero. We have a newcomer. Former Mimi Barbariccia. Let her know when she wakes, will you? Barbariccia's minion. Why not go and find this newcomer so we have something to tell Zero, if nothing else? Indeed. May I trouble you to join me, Kokoro? With luck, we might learn something of gold beds. Appears to be the newcomer. You're the ones who felt Barbariccia. I, I won't make trouble. I'll obey, so please let me stay. If you would obey, then tell me all you know of Goldbez. Although there isn't much I can tell, only the Archfiends are allowed into his domain. Wherever it is, none but they know. I see. No better way to guard oneself than keeping one's location secret. How about Gobez's communication with his minions afield? He has his scepters, staffs, whatever they are. Uses them to talk to those far away. Not unlike the link puzzles, at least in function. That will be all. My thanks for your cooperation. Man, my thanks to as well as affording me the time. I'm satisfied. Let us rejoin the others and head home. Alright, let's get Zero to a safe place. While I'm sure Nob Dean has matters under control, I can't help but worry. Let's not keep them waiting. Petra has told all. Gobez goes to great lengths indeed to conceal his whereabouts. I trust you don't understand that once we leave the 13th, we will not return until we prepare to resume our search. Knowing this, are you ready to depart? I shall leave. It's not like there's anything else for me to do here. Back to Troya then, and thence home. Is nobody gonna pick her up? Okay, I was gonna say, somebody's gonna pick her up, right? To <laughs> get her back. <laughs> wow, they're still waiting here for us. Why is Varshan not being the first one out? Hello? Weird that he came last. Oh, you're all safe. Thank the sisters. Thank yourselves. You did all the hard work. A moment while I close the gate. There. We may rest easy for now. How long were they we gone that they were waiting for us? Was there any trouble? 
at least two days. A few did, aye. But we were ready and dealt with them without incident. That is well. I cannot thank you enough for your vigilance. Yes, yes, you're grateful. But aren't you forgetting something more important? Dragon sister? You know, the polite but warm formalities one delights in hearing when their little brother returns from a long journey. <laughs> These guys. These guys are just like, right. always. Hey, hello, we're family. <clears throat> It is good to be home again, among those who I love dearly and missed so much. <laughs> and we are glad to receive you, Vashan. Welcome home. Chambers have been prepared for your use at Megaduta. Let us take Zero there at once. Sweet. Okay, back to the source. Mr. McGathar, we have been expecting you. If you will follow me, I will show you to our guest chambers. Hell yeah. I love having guest chambers. We can have cutscenes in them. Our mission took many an unexpected turn. I am relieved that we have all returned safely. But before you all enjoy the rest you have earned a dozen times over, I would consult you on one last matter. Zero. Just give her some either. What's the big deal? While she appears none the worse for wear, she remains locked in slumber, and I cannot help but worry. Is there aught we can do to expedite her recovery? If her ether is exhausted, perhaps I can share some of mine now. Why are we so unsure of it? So confused while we're being so of the careful. 13th, one can only replenish ether by taking it from others, be it by trade or by force. In contrast, the source is rich in ambient ether. She will turn to us naturally, huh? Simply being here and drawing breath, Zero will absorb what she needs. But wouldn't it wake her up and faster if we give her some ether? <laughs> I believe so. She will awaken in time, and when she does, give her something to eat. Judging by her form, she should also be able to derive nourishment from food. I know you promised her your ether, but perhaps she might appreciate fine harnish cuisine more. Food can certainly be arranged. She looks like any other person. Unsurprising, perhaps, given that she is only part Void Scent. Zero said before that Xenos had altered her essence. A change wrought, I suspect, with the power of darkness. It acted upon the part of her that is Void Scent, rendering it dominant. Thus, we were able to reverse it with the power of light. Yeah? I labor to believe that Xenos possessed such arcane knowledge. In all likelihood, it came from Than Daniel. Were Zero wholly void sent, I doubt the crystal would have had an effect on her. One might say that Hydaelyn had a hand in your meeting. It 
is no exaggeration to say that Zero has proven herself invaluable. A boon from Heidelin herself. Well, I don't Our think so, because Heidelin's dead, but... Price, but whatever it is, I am willing to pay it. Exhausting, though, it may be at times. I'm trying to do number one, but I forgot number one is also a hashtag, so I kept on just doing... I just kept on <laughs> hashtagging. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Direct hit, crit hit. We'll do crit. Right, time for a very... I just looked up how long this quest is going to be, and it's going to be very long. <laughs> She seems to be faring better here. Praise be to the sisters. My chamber is much the same as this one. Too opulent for my taste, but at least it has space to train. Yeah, if you move the table all the way. Zero's breathing appears to be less strained than it was in the 13th. Never one to remain idle, Yastola would tend to an errand. If I may excuse myself, I wish to pay a visit to the High Crucible. While the scales functioned admirably, it would be prudent to have them inspected for signs of degradation. By all means, I shall do the same for this vessel. Then I go and meet with the soldiers. Share with them what I learned fighting Voicent in the 13th. What of you, my friend? Have you any immediate plans? No, nope. I'm just worried about Zero. In that case, might I trouble you with a small task? I wish to have food ready for Zero when she awakens, you see. Will you be willing to go to Marine's Mahane and ask for suitable refreshments? Very well, I shall. Excellent. In the meantime, Natana shall watch over Zero. She is already en route. Let us each attend to our respective businesses and reconvene Anon. Alright, let's go. The Mahane. Mahain. We can have 2,000 of these too, huh? But it feels like it takes longer to get that many. I need some food. Welcome to Medine's Medine. Please make it yourself comfortable. I'm here to get some food for Zero. What the guest of the Sashop has collapsed from hunger. Of course I would be happy to help. You need only tell me what you desire. A modest quantity of a living mortal's aether should suffice. A rich and hearty meal with plenty of meat. While that might be perfect for an event preparing to raid a treasure vault, I fear it would be too much for someone coming out of a long slumber. I would recommend something gentler on the stomach, like these apples here. They've just come in, and I can guarantee their freshness. Afterwards, once your guest feels better, she's welcome to sample whatever else we can provide. Just let me know. Apples? Waking up and eating an apple? I don't know about you, but apples make me have a stomach ache because they instantly activate my my digestive system. So, no. I'm going to have to say an apple is not a great thing to wake up to. But that's just me, I guess.
Hello, welcome back. Lest you worry, Mistress Nidana had been taking good care of your guest. Will you be joining them now? I guess I will. Hopefully she'll be awake so we can, I don't know, talk about being in the real world. Light. Is this an inn? Yes. What happened? How did I get here? We walked you in through a portal. There's no time. I must rejoin the battle. I must... Oh, you're awake! Wonderful! What is this? Some sort of fiend? A fiend? Where is it? Where? <laughs> She's so adorable! I love her! This is no time for jokes. Oh. I love her so source, much. My dear. The world next door. So to speak. The others brought you here after you collapsed. I'll fetch them at once. Wait, just a moment. <laughs> she is, I love her so much. And I just can't. I just can't. I don't know what to say. I'm overwhelmed with emotion whenever she's on screen. I took the liberty of arranging refreshments. I hope you find them as flavorful mm, as delicious. they are invigorating. This isn't what you promised. I suppose ether is ether. Wait, wait. Don't tell me you don't know how to eat. I took what I needed from it. What's the problem? Uh, you're missing the flavor. Hello, I you're in freaking fantasy India I'm and you're not eating the spice? To you, to save us. Throw her in the trash. Swallow. That's the smallest apple bite I've ever seen. Do you not go for a huge one on the first so, bite? Did it taste good? <laughs> I don't know. Apples are pretty safe. The long years without eating may have dulled your sense of taste. Well, we void scent of no need for such when consuming others. There are some who speak of taste when describing the quality and affinity of their praise ether. But I loathe the act. Taking ether in small amounts like this is one thing. But diluting my essence, diminishing myself, I'd sooner die. And I have died, countless times. <gasps> you have? Um, but what happens when you do? Not much. After a while, you return, together with all your expended life force. The important thing is to die where others won't devour you. 
amazing! My peers who study immortality and resurrection would be most interested in this phenomenon. <laughs> Denian is just bewildered as hell. The question of taste aside, I am glad that you are able to partake of food like us. I dare say it agrees with your personal preferences. That's true. You can keep giving me the same on a regular basis. Very well. As my guest, I shall see that you do not want for comfort. And one other thing. We brought you to our world without your consent. And for that, I apologize. If you wish it, we will return you to yours once you have regained your strength. It's fine. I have no reason to go back. You have no reason for anything. That's why your name is Zero. It is Except empty. For yours, perhaps. You intend to cross over again, I take it. I do. I have yet to find my sister. I want nothing more than to rush to her aid. To find this Kolbez and free her from his clutches, if he still holds her captive. Though if our recent experience has taught us anything, it is that the 13th is more dangerous than we ever imagined. Caution must be our watchword. Wachtword? That's Dutch for password. Better late than never. My brain was just like in the Dutch. Short time you spent in our world, All of a sudden, I got really <laughs> chaos in your wake. Walked bird. You managed to return in one piece this time, but don't assume you'll be so lucky the next. Rest assured, we will make no assumptions and spare no preparation. Speaking of which, while we rest and ready ourselves. I ask that you tell me more about your home. In return, I will tell you about ours. I will show you my domain, Radzat Han. Again, a stranger in this strange land. Actually, yours is the strange one. We're the original land, okay? I have a condition. You must come too. I of course have to come. I can't see the cutscenes if I don't come, so. You have my thanks. Oh, here she is. It was my pleasure to show you the city when first you arrived. I shall enjoy doing the same for Zero. Okay, I guess we're going on a tour. This world is brimming with either. I feel invigorated just standing here the breeze. Glad I am to hear that. So, is there any place in particular you wish to see? Hmm. Perhaps where the food came from. Apple, was it? Well, I don't expect I'll collapse again. It would be good to know where I can procure more of it, if necessary. Mahid's Mahin it is. Then, I will introduce you to the head waitress. Me, me My, my lil. I can't. They're now accompanying me. Let's accompany time. It's accompanying time. Cute little fox. Uh, can you guys not stand in each other, actually? This is the place. The air is different here. And I speak not of the heat. The texture to it, a fullness. Unlike that of elsewhere. You smell the cooking. I believe. Finnish cuisine is quite fragrant and delicious. I hope you will agree. Mm. 
possibly could attempt to introduce Zero to Mer Merai herself, but Lel, Lel is more than likely to be available. Oh, you think too much. Welcome to Marines Merhain. Greetings, Milhel. May I introduce you to Zero? She is an esteemed guest, and I ask that you seek see to her meals during her stay. Ah, uh, yes! Marine has told me all. Please welcome us. Please come to us whenever you are hungry. We'll look after you. It was here that Kokoro obtained the apple. Well, the palace cooks can repair whatever you desire. It's certainly a quick and convenient food. I'll remember it. Who are the ones there moving the bodies about? Is it for some ritual related to eating? The dancers. They move their bodies to bring pleasure to those who are watching. It's a form of entertainment, part of all the cu our culture. How needlessly complicated. He avoid sim sim prefer simple pleasures. That may be the way of it now, but your world too must have had such complicated diversions once. I don't remember. Well, let us move on. I propose we visit Balshan Bazaar. Her goods the world over may be found. To the bazaar. Some gear for my. Okay, how much do we have of the other thing? I don't think we have enough of the other ones. Yeah, these ones are harder to collect for time. We'll buy the accessories first, actually. Welcome back. What are all these things for? What do you do here? This is the marketplace, where people buy and sell goods. Since its earliest days, Radzat Han has served as a trading hub. And here you'll find not only local products, but wares from distant lands. I should mention that the vendors generally only accept payment in coin or tombstones. If there's all you desire, I shall take care of it. So that's what tombstones are for. Poets and return with them on occasion, but I never knew their purpose. They struck me as a useless trinket. I couldn't understand your obsession with them. On that subject, there appears to be no shops in the 13th. You never make bargains in which possessions are exchanged. We do, but rarely. We strike bargains when we want something done. If we desire an object, we will kill whoever has it. I see, I see. Your bargains may be likened to employment, I believe. I shall bear this in mind. With that, let's continue on. I propose we head to the High Crucible of Alchemia. Of course, why would they, if nobody can die in their world, why wouldn't they just kill each other? That makes sense. Hey, I want that. Yoink. Easy. Oh, when did I get this? I didn't even notice. Why, Master Vitra? How may we serve you this morning? If you're here for your vessel, I'm afraid we're still tending to it. No, no, there is no rush. Try to take as much time as you require, and know that I have complete faith in your work. 
the High Crucible is home to the finest alchemist. They're the ones who created my bodies and can provide you with healing as well. Hmm. Now that I think on it, you weren't all surprised when I charged form, changed forms. Were you aware of my nature from the start? That I was a soul occupying a vessel not my own? It's hardly uncommon in our world. When given the chance, many shed their bodies and claim stronger ones. I hate that I can't turn around. I despise that I can't turn around. I'm just stuck in place. Oh, you must be the rumored guest. We've been so me most eager to meet you. If you have a moment, would you care to stay for some tea? The sisters know we'd love to hear your tales. No, I've, I've had enough food for now. I can only obtain more without the need for inane chatter. Now, now, no need to decline outright. I dare say you are tired. So let us save it for another time and return to the Megudota. If aught catches your eye and route, do not hesitate to say so. Does anything catch your eye on the way? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't even tell me to go back. I guess we'll just walk. Oh no, something does catch your eye. Over here by the mulberry trees. It's gonna take too long. I was just looking if I could do the raids, but I think the raids will take too long. So we won't do that actually. <laughs> I forget that the raids have like four wings or something, so you have to do all of them, which can take a while to do. sort of food. Pitiful things, though. Imagine you need to eat a lot to derive any satisfaction. Oh, they're not for us to eat. These are mulberry trees. While the fruits are indeed edible, more important are the leaves, which we feed to silkworms. Without the creatures, we wouldn't have the silk to make our famous Thovnerian weave. Furthermore, the bark of the trees also possesses medicinal properties. It would be hard-pressed to find a more useful plant. Is that so? Aside from food, I wouldn't have considered any other purpose for it. <laughs> Master Vitra and Kokoro too! Ah, oh, it's the two orphans. It isn't young Mirage, and that must be your sister, Yasra. Is all well at the orphanage? Yes, your excellency. The other children are very nice, and we all look out for one another. Oh, just the other day, Estinian came to see us. Everyone was really excited. Surely, Estinian paid your visit. That is well. Is she a new friend? Friend? You know what that is. What? You mean you don't? She is a visitor from a faraway land, you see, and is still unfamiliar with our language. Then we'll teach you a friend is someone you like to play with. Playing? Play with. I don't think she knows what playing is. You know, seems to be enjoying himself when he fought you. Is that the same thing? Uh, more or less. <laughs> For him, it was all play. It was a game, right? To him, so. I see. But is having someone to play with so fulfilling? I still do not understand why. It's the joy. 
why he traversed the great expanse, why he risked life and limb for you. But I waste energy dwelling on such things. I'm not Xenos. I stand to gain nothing by knowing his heart. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't explain it well. There no, there's no need to apologize. The fault is not yours, but mine for failing to make sense of your words. Well, uh, we'd better get back to our errand. Goodbye! You know, it was nice meeting you. Bye! That felt so good. I just waved my shoulder. Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Though Xenos, through Xenos, I thought I understood the ways of your world. But the more I learn of it, the more I realize how little I actually know. It's also strange. Your behavior and your reasons. I find myself baffled at every turn. But the feeling is not unwelcome. I'm learning bit by bit. It was the right decision to join you. Thank you. darkness warped all my life in the void even plants only now do I recall flowers and the value they held a gentle smile plays on Varshan's lips I believe Zero's time here has been rewarding and was in no small part due to your company my thanks for agreeing to join us come let us return to Megoduta ba, ba, ba. Okay, so the ones with the white are lower level. The ones with the... These ones are the higher level ones. Wait, is there a... Oh yeah, there is a material melder. But maybe I shouldn't meld. I should wait until I have gear, I think. Maybe. I'm just gonna gear the red mage for now, because I know it's gonna take a while to gear the other ones. I only played the healer because I thought it would just fit more with the class balance. But in the end, it didn't really matter. So. Welcome back, Mistress Mikathar. Will you be heading to the guest chambers? So, what are your impressions of Rad's at hand? It's great! Compared to where she came from, anyways. There's a lot of mortals. Considering your origin, I can see why that might be your first observation. Though they would call each other people, I think. If you wish to know about our fair city, I should be glad to place a guide at your disposal. No need. I'll show myself around. There's only so much about my home I can share with you in return, after all. While I remember some few tales of the past, I cannot speak to their authenticity. But if that is enough, then I will tell you of the events that saw darkness engulf our world. The Contra Memoria. We are all ears. Please. Long ago, light filled the world, and all was at peace. 
But then the servants of darkness came, and they bequeathed a black art unto men. Channeling the power of hope and prayer, one could call forth fearsome beings known as Eidolans. Yep, sounds like primals to me. The Asians. And these Eidolans are surely primals. Then you have faced the same, and understand that when an Eidolan is birthed, strife follows. And in such strife, the weak are the first to suffer. Yeah. I agree. Were you one of the weak ones? When it seemed the world would be plunged into chaos, heroes appeared. They were blessed with a singular power. The power to bind the ether of Eidolans within crystals known as Memoria. My mother was one such memoriate, but in fighting to save many, she herself was touched by darkness, as was I. And so you were born part void sent, before the world was overcome. How exactly did that calamity come to pass? Did the memoriates not triumph? In a way, isn't that true? They, they didn't? Did. They expunged the seeds of chaos and restored the peace. Yeah. They started eating Only their own power. seduced by the darkness they had sealed. They spread the taint, transforming men into monsters, what you call void scent, and raised armies to wage new wars. Not the first to be corrupted by power, nor the last. Sadly, it led Some to the destruction of the world. And held fast to the light. My mother and I among them. For years and years we fought, but it was not enough. And when our strength was spent, our bulwarks broken. So too was the world. The flood of darkness. Mm -hmm. The stars faded from the heavens as a pall black as pitch enveloped creation. Darkness raged unchecked, rending the very walls of reality. I was cast into the rift, and there trapped for what felt like an eternity. Probably was. Until I came upon a crack. Tiny. Infinitesimal. But enough for me to squeeze through. And find my world changed beyond recognition. Into the lightless waste you saw. So that is how you were able to escape becoming a void scent in full. I suppose I should consider myself fortunate. Were I like most others, I wouldn't have lasted a day before being devoured. We, the lost, are better equipped to survive in a lost world. Yeah, you basically evolved to survive there. A lost world, you say? I wouldn't be so sure. The 13th is still there, is it not? What are you getting at? We cured To explain one world. requires that we initiate you into the truth of the source and its reflections. We warned that this will take a while. Basically, the world was split into 13, and seven of them have already been rejoined. Yours was a mistake. The first was also like yours, but like opposite with the flood of light. And it was going to get destroyed, but we saved it. And we brought it back from the brink by giving it darkness. So, logically, you could think that if your world is all dark, you just give it some light, balance everything out, 
and then we'll fix everything. And we also fix the empty then, as well. Unlike the worlds that have been rejoined, mine still. The Oracle of Light prevented the first from being completely overcome. So the situation may not be completely identical to that of your 13. But I wouldn't say it's irreversible. But the fact remains that we were able to restore a measure of balance to a world brought to the brink of destruction. After which, some intrepid young souls succeeded in restoring life back to lands thought lost to light. Which gives me cause to hope the day may yet come when life springs forth anew in the 13th. Of course, these are only possibilities. I offer no guarantees. But having experienced what we have, I dare say we are more qualified than most to speak on the matter. Wait, I don't understand. Why would you say these things? As if you mean to... Ding, 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 ding! But the That's... sole reason you came to the Void was... To find a dragon, aye. And in light of what we've seen, we'd be fools to strive for more. But we are the most foolish people of all but of the Scions, world, so... Former Scions, begging your pardon, have a habit of not leaving well enough alone. Exactly. And old habits die hard, don't they, my friend? Restoring the light would serve our efforts to find and free Ashdaya. There is no reason not to try. Do as you will. I have no desire to save that world. Be that as it may, we will have need of your power when next we face Void Scent. <sighs> you know how it works. If you want my help, you must pay my price. And now that you've drawn Golbez's attention, it's going to cost you more. A lot more. I will consider this a deposit. You're welcome. <laughs> you can take the apple. If you're going to add payment apples, we have got plenty of them. We've done it. We've completed that 6.2. Hooray! Though our time in the void was short, we managed to ascertain that my sister yet lives, and it cannot be overstated how fortunate we are to have met Zero. But the greater blessing is nevertheless you, my friend. For your encouragement to embark upon my search anew, and your help in overcoming the challenges thus far. You're welcome. Uh -oh. A little void sent escaped. Golbeth and his minions will seek to stymie our efforts. Of this we can be sure. But with all of you at my side, I have confidence that we will succeed. That we will find and liberate my sister. And that we shall return home together. Very well. What are we getting? Pumpkin ratatouille. I'm not sure about <gasps> chai. I always got to pick the chai, baby. <laughs> chai is so good. Are we gonna meanwhile in Golbez Town? Elsewhere. Oh, 
first Scarmiglione, and now Barbariccia. Useless, the both of them. It was no lie. They conspire with a memorial. And their search for the dragon will lead them here. The war looms nigh. We cannot allow these interlopers to interfere. If I may, my lord, I have a plan to eliminate... Oh, please. Come fight me. I'm ready. In order to guarantee success, however... Fuck Cognazzo, dude. I remember Cognazzo's boss fight in Final Fantasy IV. Fuck that guy. He's the one I want to kill first. As much as I dislike your lead, I have no patience for screaming. Well and good to have confidence, but do not forget the cost. Of failure. Rest assured, I will see the dream to fruition. Even should I be consumed by my own flames, I will pave the way for one and all. Then I will trust in your oath and your plan. We will give you cause to rejoice, my lord. This I found. Ha Okay. I remember Final Fantasy IV bosses being hard, but only because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. So... <laughs> No sacrifice is too great, even should my four archfiends be lost, I will not halt my steps. The prison of passivity is an obstacle to my cause, and so you must fall. What irony that the blessed damned should set us free. What is he talking about? What drugs is this guy on? As I swore so long. I can't take Golbez seriously because I know his I know his Final Fantasy IV counterpart. Which, sure, he was very overpowered in Final Fantasy IV and he killed a bunch of people, but in the end you find out he's just, like, possessed by an alien. And it's just like, it's not really Golbez, it's just the alien that possessed him, so... Yeah, that was... Ooh! Big muscly guy with armor, I'm scared. The gate lies open. Good luck, long Golbez. Go beds if that is your true name. Be fulfilled. But that's in Final Fantasy IV. I don't know what the story is here. Um, let's see. I wonder how quick it is to unlock the alliance raid because if that can be done quick enough i might do that let's see myths of the realm two quests and we unlock it so maybe i'll do that from this fresh faced student in Old Charlian. Okay. We'll unlock the Alliance Raid at least. I don't want to do the raid because it's like four wings and it might take me like four hours to do and I don't want to. I'm, I'm really tired. I want to sleep. But I do want to unlock something today. So we'll do the Alliance Raid which I think 
Where am I going? Shaolin. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even look what was unlocked in this patch. In patch 6.1 we unlocked Elite Missa Realm Part 1 Agalia. I think that's the one we're on now. Right? Yeah, so that was this that was last patch. An ultimate the dungeon we did. Another Unreal. Some PvP stuff. Something with Tataru. Something with Alpha and Beast Quest. Okay. So what did we unlock in this patch that we just did? Patch 6.2 we unlocked. The next wing of Pandemonium, I think? Yeah, Abyssos. So we still need to do Asphodelos. Asphodelo we still need to do that. Hopefully on Thursday, if not on Friday. I don't know. I really wanted to finish this game this week so I can switch to my spring summer schedule and go outside. <laughs> I can still do that. I can just take my time. It's fine. I'm just being impatient. We did that. We did that trial. We unlocked a variant dungeon. I don't know what that is. Somebody in Old Da wants us to do something, okay. A savage dungeon. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah. We'll do this alliance raid. Let me go to where are we going? A mission in Mordona. Go back with Graha and Pryl, see what they're up to. I think that's what they're involved in anyways. Fresh face student's fate slides up at the side of you. Uh, Okuro, uh, welcome back. Are you perchance here to seek Kryl? I'm given to understand she has a task for which she desires your assistance. Then I shall fetch her at once. Pray, wait a moment. Well, my thanks for coming. For coming. If you're now available, I'd like you and Raha to assist me in a task I had mentioned. For you to call on Kokoro, I assume the task in question is somewhat more exciting than sorting through paperwork, which I'm pleased to add I have finished. So, if Kokoro is ready, then so am I. Our venture to the bounty has only served to whet my appetite for field work. Not to oversell things, but I suspect you won't be disappointed. Ere I divulge details, however, permit me to provide some background. As you know, our organization, the Student of Baldessian, was founded by my grandfather, Galif. Our stated mission was to uncover the mysteries of the Hub Heidelin and interpret her will, particularly through the study of her gift to us. We've since learned the whole truth, and it might be said that we've fulfilled our, fulfilled our mission but our work is far from over. In the course of our endeavors, we've also sought to devise countermeasures against threats that come to light. Our involvement with the Warring Triad is an example of such. It is my belief in continuing to seek out the unknown and dealing with threats, we best carry on the student's mission. We best honor those we lost when the Isle of Val was destroyed. My contact is sticking. Forgive me, I didn't mean to darken the mood. In saying all this, I simply want to clarify our organization's purpose for a new age. In line with said purpose, I've been reviewing new requests, and one in particular jumped out at me. It comes from none other than Rambrose of the Sons of St. Connach. Ah, yes. Truly, has something happened in Mordona, then? So it would seem, 
and he wishes to entrust the matter to us. While his missive is sparse on details, he writes that it lies beyond the sun, sun's expertise. Uncharted territory are the exact words he used. I'd like you to meet with Rambos and conduct a preliminary survey. What say you? Wonderful. When you're ready, pray make your way to Revenant's Toll. I shall let Rambros know to receive you there. I must remain here to oversee our operations, but should it transpire that more hands are needed, don't hesitate to send word. Well, there's no time like the present. If you could go on ahead to Revenant's Toll, I shall make ready and then be on my way. Right. Revenant's Toll it is. This is why I always keep Revenant's Toll on my favorites list, because we're always going them for, there for something. I don't know what, but we're always going there for something. Revenant's Toll, you say? Is there something in here? Wait, what is this? Suki. Wait, my bird? No, that's not correct. Missions in Mordona. Oh, we're waiting here. Waiting, waiting. For my friends to show up, yeah. There you are, Kogoro. Could seem we're early. Better than late. My apologies for the wait. Rambos, what a pleasure to see you again. How have you been? Ah, uh, the pleasure is all mine, my friend. I have been well, and it gladdens me to see that you are too. Now, I know you have many demands upon your time, so I shall explain the particulars of our quest at once. Recently, an explorer came to us who claimed to have discovered the Phantom Realm. The Phantom Realm? So this is what you meant by uncharted territory. He'll explain. You're not familiar. Perhaps I'm surprising, given that it is a lesser known legend. The Phantom Realm. This legend holds that across Erosia, there exists a realm that appears as a mirage. Though visible from a distance, it fades away as one draws near. While it has fe featured in myths since ancient times, the realm's existence could not be proven, and thus, it is seldom mentioned in literature. In spite of this, fueled by rumors on the occasion's occasional sighting, the myth has persisted and continues to capture the hearts and minds of explorers. That you yourself should reach out to us is... Is this real, then? When for... When first the explorer in question approached us, we doubted him, but we couldn't doubt the evidence of our senses. Nay, the realm is real, as you will soon see for yourselves. Good God! A part of me still struggles to believe it. But we have no reason to doubt you. Suffice it to say we are eager to see the realm too. I'll explore some unknown realm. Whatever the truth awaits, I pray you will succeed in finding it. Seek out the explorer, one Derek, has seen more of the realm than us. Should be willing to serve as your guide. I asked to him to accompany me here, but he perform preferred to continue exploring on his own. You'll be somewhere near the banks of the Silver Tear Lake, I expect. Understood. Our thanks, Rambros. Isn't Derek Alice's helper from the Bahamut raids? Come. Let us split up and look for our explorer. Ram... Derek, I'm pretty sure, is from that. I 
I've gone the wrong way. Ah woo! Derek, oh Derek, derelict Derek, yeah. Point of interest. Do you see him, Suki? Explorer doesn't appear to be in the area. Hello! Not there either. Oh! There's a baby Opopopo? Why is there a baby Opopopo? You see a small Opopo, and it couldn't possibly be the explorer. Or could it? There it got turned into a monkey! So cute! Look at its giant eyeballs! And its little ears! Just in case you were entertaining the thought, Kokoro, the Opo Opo is an explorer. I have the man in question here with me. Oh, that's not Derek. Oh, this is a different Derek. I'm Derek, the one who discovered the Phantom Realm. My apologies for making you search for me. Curious about this creature, are you? I found him injured during one of my journeys and tended to him. Since then, he has taken to following me around. He is inquisitive, but otherwise harmless. So pray, pay him no mind. You are the hero who delivered our star from doom, are you not? What good fortune that one as capable as you should lend their aid. To be clear, our organization has yet to accept the commission. Before we can make a decision, we would conduct a preliminary survey. Would you guide us to the Phantom Realm? Of course. I'll show you to the entrance at once. The gate to the realm long dreamed of by explorers. There's a gate right here. Somebody watching us? We're going for a swim, are we? What are you? Impressive, isn't it? When the gate manifested, so too did this magic, allowing one thus to walk upon water. Ronje would be aghast with intrigue. This is just like Ronje's spell! Someone convinced, since he's the means to do this at will. An intriguing individual. It's perfectly safe. I assure you. Come! It's more impressive that the monkey is not scared. Oh, that definitely seems like it's a secret portal. Walk on in, baby. By the twelve, you can really walk here. What magic is this? By what means is it perpetuated? I don't know. Uh, forgive me. Let us continue on.
That's a lovely sound effect. <laughs> Excuse me. Th this is the Phantom Realm. It is indeed. It's the Omphalos. Oh, are we doing Greek stuff? Are we on Mount Olympus? We're in Mount Olympus, dude. It always goes back to the classical age and the antiquity, does it not? I think that the entrance would lie over Silvertier Lake. Nothing out of the ordinary with the environment. The sights, the sounds, the smells. All appear as they should be in nature. That is to say, this place is no illusion. But you're gonna wish it was. I bid you welcome to the navel, navel of the Phantom Realm, the Omphalos. It's gonna be freaking hard to say these. I don't not good at Greek. Whatsoever. All right. Well, is it what you were expecting? Kind of, they gave me screenshots in the... They gave me little cutscenes and stuff in the trailer. The Omphalos, you say? This place is called... A name of my own conception, I confess. I felt we needed something to call it by. As you wonder, the word means na navel in an ancient tongue. An allusion to Mordona's location in the heart of Aldernard. As you can see, there are man-made structures, and the place appears well-kept, yet there isn't a single soul in evidence. It is my hope that you will help me to shed light upon this realm, the one who created it, and what, to what end. I should also like to know why it has revealed itself now. Was it simply a chance that kept it hidden, or something more? In any case, let us begin by taking a look around. I love exploring. There's the 12. Their little astrology signs. What are you? I'm a Pisces. It means that I'm a fish and I like to swim. I don't fucking know. I don't know anything about astrology. I don't even remember who I chose as my god. Is it in my character description somewhere? Thaliac, the scholar. Ha, ah, how fitting. Okay. I do like learning stuff. I just don't like going to school. Mysterious monument. Stone monument has been erected here. By whose hand, you cannot say. But the motives wrought into its base appear familiar. Hmm, indeed. Enigmatic structure. The Opa Opa seems quite at home, wouldn't you say? How many times has Derek come here, I wonder? A number of structures such as this can be seen in the area. What purpose could they possibly serve? The architecture is unlike anything seen in Orzia. Truly exquisite stuff. Did I tell them it looks exactly like the architecture from... Help this in the before times. 
Well, I'm not allowed to mount in here. That makes sense. It would be silly if I could just jump off the island and die. I'm sure it doesn't let you do that either. That's an interesting decision to have these spirally spirals there. Okay, there's nothing here. What else am I missing? There's something over there. Why is it all the way back here? And why didn't I see it before? I've walked across the entire map. <laughs> what a bore. Vantage point. Hey, it's the Crystal Tower! I see it. I knew it wouldn't let us fall off. We got pretty far from the Crystal Tower, actually. Or maybe we're in the middle of the lake? On top of the middle of the lake? There's the... Dalamont pieces over there. In the distance, you see what appears to be the Crystal Tower, though the clouds make it difficult to be sure. It would seem that you are in the sky above Silver Tear Lake. No such isle could be seen from the outside, however. looking around have you what are your impressions we have only we have had only a cursory glance but this is truly a mysterious place the gleaming spire rise fire rising above the clouds that is most certainly the crystal tower I agree and judging by its aspect we are a considerable distance above civil chair lake which would suggest the gate we entered is a teleporter however if this is the eye lies where it appears to lie then it couldn't have escaped the battle of Silvertear Skies and Scathes. Which is to say we are in Mordona, and yet we are not. It is as if we were displaced from our world, if only slightly. Displaced in an apt way to put it. Was there aught else you noticed? Aye, the motives upon your own structure, they are unmistakably the marks of the Twelve. By which I posit that this was created to be a place of worship. But by whom? I cannot think of any who would have possibly built such grand premises. Never mind, magically conceal it. At least, not in the wake of the Battle of the Silver Tear Skies. Aye, this is a mysterious place indeed. Hmm. The mission of Mordona. Magically concealed. In like manner, perhaps the ruins of Amptapor in the Twelveswood. The city, I understand, reappeared when the seventh Umbral Calamity weakened the elementals. Draw tears, pondering how best to proceed. Well, it seems there's but one solution for our ignorance, a thorough investigation. For this, we will require more manpower and supplies, among other things. With your permission, we will confer with our representative, Kryle, and make the necessary arrangements for, for a formal investigation. If that is what must be done to commence your work in earnest, then by all means. Without further ado, then, let us return to Charlian. Old mortals. Who are you? Uh oh. We have been sensed.
Uh oh. Hello? You profane the sacred realm with your very present. You must answer for your irreverence. Hi. Big hammer man. Wow, we're just all about huge muscles today, huh? Muscle mommy, muscle daddy. There's muscles everywhere. Are you supposed to be Zeus? Because he kind of reminds me of Zeus, and that's Poseidon. I am Bargot, the Builder. Bargot? Then the Twelve are real. Let there be no doubt. We are not Simulacra born of mortal faith. Nay, we Twelve are divinities true. And in Heidelin's absence, we are the star's rightful will rulers. It's will. Okay. Closely have we watched mankind. And we have determined that you, champion of Heidelin, pose a threat to our ascension. It were foolish to wander into our realm. We could destroy you with ease here and now. As divinities, we must demonstrate grace and forbearance. There is but one path. We must weigh this mortal's worth. In here, let there be a trial. While the mortal would invariably be destroyed, it would be at least provide us with a diversion. Are you sure you don't want to sleep with me and make a demigod or something? What? You surely appear and expect us to simply comply with your whims. Protest if you wish, but mortal logic means not to gods. You will abide by our laws, or perish. Lo, the gateway to our sanctums lies open. Us the strength of mankind. Show us the honor of mankind. Show us the spirit of mankind. If man would remain the master of his own destiny, uh, his own destiny, then assemble your comrades and come, come and prove your worthiness. Very well, I'll come beat you up. It's the least I can do. All 500 of us that are going into this instance. <laughs> I know it's not that many people. But it would be interesting to have a 500 man thing. Okay, those two are going together. Not good. We angered the gods, Graha. Seven heads. During my previous forays, nothing like this ever happened. I encountered not a single soul, and certainly not gods. And by their own admission, they mean to take over the star. What are we to do? The situation has indeed taken an unexpected turn, but we must try to think clearly. The Twelve have long been revered and worshipped in Orzia. The myths about them abound. To my knowledge, they have never thus appeared so openly before people. Probably because of Hydaelyn. All these beings who suddenly reveal themselves just when we are here claim supremacy over the star and challenge Kokoro to a trial. Too much about this feels odd and it gives me pause. Fair enough. It does a stand, it seems we can't dismiss the threat either. This is turning out to be another strange affair. Well, 
if it was an adventure we sought, I dare say we found it. In any event, these beings seek dominion over the stars, they say. What happens here may have far-reaching implications. To that end, I believe we should take action. Suffice it to say, you are with me. Of course I am. Show me where to shoot my spells. Then the students of Baldassian will officially tend to the situation. Aye, in the course of studying the star's mysteries, we have undertaken to deal with any threat that may arise. This is no different. Let us queue up, baby. Agaresios, Agergesios, Agrios. Man, that was just the intro to the quest. Uh, to think that we would encounter the Twelve. Right, let us deliberate a course of action. Derek, know you aught of these beings' sanctums? Aye, they are domains in the Phantom Realm that lie beyond each gate. I have explored them all. <gasps> Perhaps due to Aetheric instability, there are times when one cannot enter when ordinary one cannot. But it would seem the way has been open for us. While I encountered no gods during my previous forays, I saw enough to know my way around. I am but a humble explorer and cannot contend with gods, but... If you would be willing to protect me, I will serve as your guide. Assemble your comrades. By a god bait us. As strong as I know you are, we know little and less about our foes. Neither their strength nor, nor, nor their true nature. It would be decidedly reckless to contend with them unprepared. And so, as much as I would like to accompany you, I shall do what affords us the best chance of victory. While you set forth to answer the God's challenge, I will work behind the scene in my capacity as a student. For one, it would be behoove us to harm, arm ourselves with knowledge about the Twelve, and I shall begin my appraisal, prizing of trial of the situation. By thus utilizing our resources to the fullest, we shall overcome whatever trials await. Alright, I guess I'll collect my 45 friends or whatever. Is it 45? I think it is, right? Aglaia. 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 I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if we can even get a group for it first. Alright, while we wait for that to happen... Oh, shit. I only want to do Aglaia. Not the other one. Right, there we go. While we wait for that, I guess we will attempt to finish our hunts that we were doing, if that's still there. We need to go to the Great Wreck. We need to look for some dude bros at the Great Wreck. Dude bros. We're looking for a elephant and a bird, as well as the elite. Vajrak Moada Mada. Elephants. Hopefully this will be done and then I can go to sleep. <laughs> sleepy time. Sleepy time, sleepy time. Ooh, my mark is to the northeast. Well, that was quick. Here's the birds. First of all. Get 
There it is, the cute little armadillo. doesn't do much, huh? It just hits me with its tail. It doesn't even do any damage to my... Tokubo. That was a pretty easy elite. The fight. Oh! Never mind, I only needed to fight one bird. Okay, then we can go find the elephants then. All right, the elephants. Do 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 do. Oh, that's another elite. This world alone. There is our elephant. Nothing you can say can stop me going home. All right. Next, we go to Garlemold. Camp Broken Glass. Actually filling up really quick. We already have eight of the 15 DPS, just the tanks that we need. Do have to kill these two? Okay, good. Collecting all the nuts. To the end of the railway we go. Yeah, like actually all the way down here.
Hello, little all nasty. Would you like to die? You're too bad, you don't have a choice. Very well, sir. Man, there's just bosses, elites everywhere, huh? Next is... Yes, best ways burrow. here yet it's, so I guess we'll try to get the aether currents while we wait for the Q pop can't actually fly here yet Q, Arcos is still here for us. Did we miss one here? Must be above us then. Because it's not here. Southeast. Yeah, it must be on this cliff here. We need to fight these anyways, right? Not up here? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's really bright. Let's get the aether current first since I walked all the way here. Alright. It's gonna tell me, teleport me back to the area, so... <laughs> oh, all right, one alliance raid in the bucket. Griffins. a gym bro standing behind me. Fun. It's like we're going... We're going places. It's the sage guy. He has a giant statue of himself. Did I not summon my freaking? Okay, I don't I have no idea. <laughs> run, 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 run. So, you are resolved to face me. I'm resolved to face you.
Is he looking at me? I think he's looking at me. Oh, okay. I see. I see. That's fun. I love falling off of platforms. I have no idea what these hammers are going to do. Okay. I see. <laughs> Is there another hammer? No, I don't think so. It's going to kick us back over? I have no idea. Okay, yeah. He's gonna move over it over. Yes. So this one is gonna kick it that way more. This one's gonna kick him. Oh, I'm just gone to the wrong place. I think. Ah! Run off the edge. I tried my best to get there, I just wasn't able to. Oh, that... to see that mechanic. Don't need to see that mechanic. I'm good. <laughs> the builder has been made to yield. And a stool of passage. Intriguing. Ralgar, let's go, bitch. All right, fine. We'll fight your falcon. Okay, I'm gonna stand right here.
There's a kid, there's a child and a, there's a child and a parent playing in this chat. And somebody thought they were doing some weird porn setup, but it was actually just like, no, we're related and we know each other. And now they're profusely apologizing in chat. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I didn't know you guys were related. She's yelling at me while we play too. Oh man, feels bad. Run Braga's freaking hand. Oh my god, this is amazing. Um, red orb? Red orb? Blue orb? How am I supposed to know which one he's gonna do? Like looking at my friends, that's how. Bingo. Oh, I'm gonna stand on these guys. They're all standing here. Okay, knocked back into a finger. Makes sense. How do I know what he's doing? I can't tell. His hand's red? Is that how you can tell? I seriously can't tell. <laughs> I'm supposed to know that's about to happen. Red guy. Supposed to stand over there? Why? I don't understand. Oh, that's why. I don't understand why everyone's going over there. Okay. Okay. Do it again. Okay, so he just does that every time. Okay, so we only did the finger push once, huh? That's fine, we'll just ignore this. Just kill him. Okay, we don't have to worry about that mechanic. Ah, so nice. <laughs> Is it nice when you can just ignore mechanics? Come I agree. Mortal. Enter my realm. Enter my realm. Flame read the portal. Whose realm am I entering? I don't know all of the names of the. I only know Ralgar and Thaliac because they've been most recent like ones. I didn't even know if the builder was a guy. Lion of Agalia, the mortal shall set foot in the divine realm. Die! Oh, lions.
This reminds me of a fight in Final and Guild Wars 2. I'm almost standing in a good spot. Nice. Mere minions are no match for you, it would seem. Divinity awaits us beyond. Have a care. Azima. Fire Orbeez. Okay. We're fine. Just stand right here. I understand. Completely. Everyone went to that one except for like everyone went to the other one. I went stuck with these guys over there. Well, that looks fun. I had no idea what I was expecting there. <laughs> I had no idea. What was gonna happen? I was mesmerized. Can't die, you can just shield yourself from all the damage, right? Ladies, Raging dance upon the wind. Let's see, let's see what we're doing there. Oh, I died. Probably too many vulnerability sets. gonna wait for all of this to be done because there's no way I can escape I'm dead maybe I can't escape I have 30 seconds okay. Thank you. 
sublime sunset. No, I'm good. Hooray! We're fine. First death. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty good. My first death is at the third encounter. The third boss, I guess. That's pretty good. Alright, here's the last guy. I am Null, keeper of the realm of the living. To be judged, children of man. Okay, I know this one too. The old dog god. I have no idea what's happening, and it's fine. Now we have to go below. Get above flames below. Okay. That's just the name of the attack. I forgot my, about my dot again. Just realized. I'm trying to attack a party member. I wonder why I couldn't attack one. Giant Orbeez? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go to this giant Orbe. And then this giant Orbe. And then I'll go back to this giant Orbe. actually just have to use my moving damage because there's no way I can move during that. What the fuck? I can't attack during that at all. Oh, 
I was somehow not standing standing in that. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't paying attention. I was casting my freaking fairy. I wonder what that's gonna do. Two? Okay. I don't know what that's gonna do, but I'm gonna go over this side. The one's going over here first. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's fair. I see. The second one's the attack. Burning stacks? What's happening? Very well. okay. Let us to <laughs> I have no idea what I died from. I have no idea what I died from. don't know. What is this? On balance. I don't understand why I'm supposed to be there. Literally what? Am I supposed to do this? I don't understand. Uh, everyone was standing on that side. I thought I was supposed to stand there. How do I... I don't even- I'm new! more DPS and then we don't do that. Just do more DPS. Okay, I don't get to know. <laughs> We're supposed to balance the scales, but I don't know how. I guess put enough people on the same side. We have to count, I guess. I don't know. Literally. <laughs> no clue what's happening. below.
this music is really weird to me. I don't know why, but I don't. It reminds me of Persona, and I've never even played Persona. That's above, so below. I don't know how I was supposed to tell that was going to happen, but I'm just going to follow where everyone else is. Just spam this one. Oh. 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 I'm gonna die. Oh. I did so good the first time, and now I'm just gonna be dead. I'm just gonna die. You know, I give up. <laughs> I'm just gonna die. I did so good the first time, and now I'm just completely terrible. Ah. I should have just focused on mechanics and worried about doing my DPS another time. That one's gonna do the knockback, and that one's gonna do the thing, so I'll just stand here. Good night! I can't heal that can I? No. I didn't die somehow. Yay, we did it! We didn't have to do the balance part. Hooray! You have been found worthy. GG to Kokoro specifically. Thank you, Mox Cora in the Lions chat for specifically thanking me. We did it! We completed everything I wanted to do today. 6.2, either a raid or an alliance raid, which I guess we ended up doing an alliance raid because that's quicker to do. And let's see, I guess we'll give it to the healer for carrying me through that. Gonna need roll everything as we can. I got a lot of stuff in that. I don't know what, but I got a lot of stuff in that. You obtain the Bruce, the Nald card? No. You obtain. 
Circle of Maiming. Ah, yes. Perfect for me. I obtain Casting Robe. Hey, that's not too bad. I dare say we have passed the trial. I dare say we have. I agree. We'll finish this quest and then I will go pass out. From this very long stream as usual this will be the last long stream ever you're safe thank goodness i rushed here as soon as i heard the tidings from raha is this true beings claiming to be the 12 have appeared yeah i just beat at four of them you defeated them all incredible really your surprise i had no doubt that you would succeed but i'm no less impressed for it Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Seldom have I felt such excitement. Oh, such exhilaration. Why are we doing the shots again? We already saw them before. Just think that the day would come that we would put on, on an axe for men. I must say, by God, you played the villain's role to perfection. Now, Master, I merely did what was necessary to compel the mortals to confront us. Ah, still it pained me to speak to our beloved children so unkindly. Though so you say, Azima, that you seemed happy enough to fight them, you did not forget the true purpose of the trial, I hope. Well, I, I couldn't help but be excited. And do not tell me you felt differently. Consider yourselves fortunate, children. It is rare indeed to see Nald Thal in such high spirits. What in the world is happening? Did you say you had to def you had defeated them? Did they manage to flee, or perhaps were resummoned? Put your weapons down. You have not to fear from us. Rest assured, we are not summoned beings, we do not drain the land of either, nor do we take men in our thrall. We're just really powerful magic people. The gods, gods damn it. But what of the gods who were summoned during the Calamity? The ones Master Louis saw called forth to protect the realm. Uh, that was not us, but a primal born of your fervent prayers for salvation. Indeed, that was the worst of the calamity. It was averted and the realm restored in its aftermath. It was a direct testament to the power of your hopes. Why choose to appear before us now, of all the bullshit we've gone through, and now you come and show up after we've saved the world? Hello? Just as men harbor hope, so do we. So too do we gods. To realize our aspirations, it is essential that we do battle with you. Did I falsely claim that we sought to rule the world? It was deceitful conduct unworthy of a divinity, and I must apologize. Not only for that, but for using my power to do harm besides. He's a builder, after all, not a bonker. These hopes of yours... Won't you tell us what they are? We cannot. If you wish to know the truth, you must discover it for yourselves. It is not easy to move forward when there is seemingly no destination. But if you press on, you will eventually arrive at the answers you seek. Aye. You will understand why we hold our peace and far more besides. 
you will learn the very truth of our existence. We're all in a video game. Written by other people from another world. Go forth, mortals, and seek knowledge of us. And when the time is right, we shall meet again in this place. Right. Well, more mysteries. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll open. I'll open with this. Unlock the alliance raid. The next alliance raid, and then we'll not tomorrow on Thursday, and then we'll continue with six point three. I think that's what we'll do. So I'll stay here so I can remember to do that. I hope you had a good stream. Enjoyed the chaos that is me voice acting all the characters we've gone to the void we've gone to the 13th we've brought back our own little zero the hero and we will see what happens after that more arc fiends more sli most likely if you enjoyed don't forget to follow if you're not already and of course go to my youtube and you can subscribe there it's free it doesn't cost anything except for making me see number go up and I like seeing number go up as most people like seeing number go up so I appreciate everyone who's clicked the button to make number go up I will only be doing my short yoga and before coffee session tomorrow so no Final fancy or anything tomorrow but I hope you have a good evening afternoon morning wherever you are and I will see you next time bye bye